It's time. It's Thursday night. Wow. Okay, that was the opposite. Usually I'm slow to start and then have to build up. Now I'm like the opposite. But it's already coming down. That's okay. We're gonna we're gonna have Dota tonight. It's gonna be great. I got popcorn. I need to go add my snack of the day. I thought I didn't have a snack, and then I was like, wait, I wanna I wanna have a snack. So let's Let's go move some of this stuff around. I made popcorn again. I think it's gonna be my, be my new thing. I like, oh, that that's definitely not what I wanna do. That is not the right thing. This one. There. Okay. Let's get the lobbies up yet. High octane apes versus CSM. Where are you? I see illegal. Team illegal is playing. I gotta cast them sometime. Team illegal because they reformed this season, and I gotta watch Grace Jam and Steph Jelly and stuff. Hopefully exciting. Maybe Captain Sleepy Paws. And then I, I like, well, who's what? I like Nomad, in, well, what's what's? Oh, XT, XO Premier, XO Premier. They're really cool too. I'm looking forward to them as well. Um, who am I missing? Oh, so this is this one. This is Harv and Sun and Stimmate and some other people that I can't remember, but it's gonna it's gonna happen. Oh, I gotta get all gotta get all set up. So unfortunately, I do have work tomorrow and like really early tomorrow. That kind of stinks. Hopefully it, it, it goes okay. It, but at least it's Friday and the weekend. I don't know what's happening this weekend. Oh, the game is starting 15 minutes late. Congratulations. How about we watch some other stuff that's going on? Thank you, Sun, for letting me know that it's going to be super late. What can, what can we watch? Let's watch some of my other friends that are playing. Dat Fan. He's really cool. We're gonna watch Daphne. He's he's immortal. So this is gonna be a really good game, I think. There we go. Let's watch. Let us watch. Casting Dota. There we go. Wow, that is loud. That is loud. Oh my goodness. If I, if I, if I sound speed up, my sounds my sound my sounds good. Why is it so loud? Did I mess something up? Whatever. Let's 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 fix it a little bit. Just just a second. I know I just turned it up. Usually it's at like 30. That fan, where are you? You are playing PA! He's very good at PA. He's very good. 12 charges already. 38 21, they're doing pretty good. This is just all pick. I assume everyone's like a crazy high level. Um Oh, never mind. I guess he plays with whoever. So that's Legends. That's Legend. That's Divine. That fan is immortal. Did they? There's Ancient. Another Ancient. Divine. Okay, they're relatively even. I really want this skin. The PA skin? Excuse you. Go to free camera. That's why it keeps going to random places. I was like, what the heck are you doing? Oh, wind runs happening. They're going on poor waft, wafted, wafted, wafted. Aw. Nice job, nice chronosphere. Oh, oh, huge crit coming out from one cycling dagger to humongous amount of crit. Almost the cleave. Almost killed them from just one cycling dagger. I ever got the kills this time. So this look pretty much done. How about I look for some other game? He's too good. He's too good. Ooh. Level 30 game. I don't know who this is. Let's look. Ooh, Biggie's casting. What? Biggie's casting? Why isn't Biggie playing? Oh look, they found the button. Radiant structure. I don't know exactly who this is, but. Oh, it must be Turbo. 
Plus a level 30. Yeah, definitely turbo. He's whacking really fast. Power Divine. This is boring too. Fine then. Let's do a different game. Who else is playing? Vicky. Watch. Where's your game? Oh. Oh yeah, I bought Dota, Dota Plus, by the way. If you didn't know. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah, I got Dota Plus. I finally did it. So, let's see what kind of cool stats we get. Let's see if we get any cool, like... Um... What am I doing? Let's see if we get any cool, like, extra stats. So I remember there being things. Not here. Like, the graphs? No, the graphs are the same. There's stuff when you get, like, Dota... Dota plus-wise. I feel like, right? Maybe when you're casting and not spectating? Because everyone sees the win probability now. I know I see post-game stuff. Hmm. I don't know. The Biggie's casting this game for some reason? I don't... Oh, it's Grin! Ooh! Who, who is it? Grin... Which Grin team is it? Versus DOS. What team is DOS? Department of Sanitation? Dyer's bottom tower is under nice attack. job. Shard from Drow. Working on the tower. Nice work, Big You're doing a great job of casting. I wish I could hear you. So many things happening. Hi, Dota Blade. Terrorize goes out. You send those creeps back. Well done. Pity didn't work on towers. It'd be funny seeing a, a tower run away. I drink your milkshake. Okay. You're, you're way too cool. Nice work. Jack Ben's got the scepter. Well done. Going to defend a little bit. Nice job, Ember, for split pushing. Very good. Keeping him in the game. Down 8k net worth. Still somehow relatively even. Circling around. Going Thunder goes out. Completely trapping. Wow. Poor Witch Doctor. Blade Fury comes out. Wolf takes out Dong Fella. Omni Slash coming up. Working on the last two. Can't quite finish off Tars. Or tiny puddles. They're in hot pursuit. Almost dodged it. Wait, was it an actual dodge? Wasn't a quite a dodge. Gets taken out. Three heroes go down on the side of Grin. Whatever Grin it is. Oh, I can click? What does it do? What does clicking do? I'm clicking. Oh. What, 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 what does it do? I clicked and I held. I'm clicking and holding and letting go. Okay, so it does a bunch. Put it once, it did a little bit. Oh, oh, okay. Click and hold a little bit again. And let it go. Woo! It must be Department of Sanitation because DOS. It's a guy dropping trash into a can. Pretty cute. It does appear that things are kind of swinging the other direction. Department of Sanitation had a really good fight there. They're coming back. It's going to be exciting. Is the other lobby up yet? Nope. Not up yet. Still got 11 more minutes. 9 more minutes. Dongfellow and Tars in a very farm rock kind of drow. How many of the things do you have? You have one flawless victory. Wow. 55 revenge progress. That's legit. I don't think I have any of them. Right now I'm playing a lot of Wind Ranger, <coughs> and because I kind of got bored of Wraith King, I got like 50 of 50 out of 100 of his. But I want the Wind Ranger buff thing or the Quap one. The Quap one was harder than I thought because you got to win. Wind Ranger, I play support Wind Ranger mostly, so I don't get much of the focus fire damage. Even though you get it, even though even if you lose, you still get the, the damage. But it's two million damage. I get like two thousand 
a game. Look at a thousand games. Smoke coming around. Do they have bash? They do have bash, but can they really take out Ember? There's a courier circling around. Oh, they're there. They're there. BKB's pop. Some gets dodged out by the. Well, BKB's who, who really cares? Team of just dropped. Arcane Moon's there. Drow's working on there. Stampede gets popped. Zombies are everywhere. Nice push stack with the fort with the hurricane pike. Owen's running away. Owen is super tangy. There we go. Tiny puddles there with the hers of face. So much damage coming out and down goes Owen. Back up higher. Whistle blade onto Ember Spirit. Rolling back and forth the rolling thunder once again. But he's just got to run away at this point. The Chris Crown does end up landing on Ember Spirit. They're in hot pursuit. They're so tanky. Tiny Puddles just jumped on in, didn't even use BKB. Ember Spirit, they could not kill him with the BKB, and Witch Doctor just healing everyone back up. Look at that. He has some good mana regen. It costs 20 mana per second and 5.7 mana regen. Oh, blink forward. There's the other wolf gets the mantle off to dodge. Whistle onto Ember. Ember's gonna go down. A little bit too aggressive. They got the Abyssal Blade on Ham City. Well done. Nice path is dropped. Only 2k net worth advantage now. Look how quickly it swings. Which one is the win probability? Um, green. So it's still in favor of the Radiant side. And the Radiant side is green. Cheers for Gren! And then this is experience, which is swung the opposite direction. That's okay. It's okay. Wise killer. Nice work. You look really big. Maybe I'm zoomed in too much. I got Scepter. I've been had a I've been having a really bad string of of Dota games lately, like really, really bad. L look at look at this. Let's look at my last matches. Lost, lost. Wait, what? I didn't lose that many in a row, did I? No. Okay. Oh, I played a lot of turbo. That's why. The things are not going well for me. Look at this. Look how much red there is. I keep trying. I keep on trying. It's just it's just not going well. I played too much turbo. And then I cast too much, and so now my actual game stuff is pretty crummy. I feel kind of bad. Game is still not up. Okay. I heard a smoke. I heard a smoke. Cheese on Sarah jumps on into there. Get the thing on there. Stampede is dropped. From the Centaur trying to run out of their Abyssal Blade onto Ember Spirit. Another bash rolling thunder through, and Ember Spirit is maybe to go down. Eventually does go down. Fies back, coming back to the Spirit, hopefully. You want to come back? Ult's back in. There we go. Undying's almost low. Juggernaut finally gets taken down. Wolf is dead. He hard on all those guys. Wolf buys back. And so he pops a little roll up thing. Trying to survive a little longer, gets pushed back, but eventually does drop. Why is Clear Godlike gets another kill? Witch Doctor with the ult. For switcheroo. Switcheroo! And Dark Willow TV's out of there with the Shadow Realm. I'm not sure what turned around so much because they were winning, like Grin was winning net worth wise and kill wise, and now it's just continuing to swing the opposite direction. I don't know what happened. It's not showing me who died when. Buy back from Centaur. Time is running out we I don't have are. Scepter yet. That is problematic. We need Scepter. We all want to see him hit your ride. We all want to see it. Time is running out for Dyer's Not very great for their lineup. It would be very great for Drow. But Juggernaut can't really attack from it because it's mainly range. Dark Willow, I guess, could be inside of it, but she's not super farmed Dyer's yet. She's not really carrying or anything. She's on a core, technically. Home core, aesthetics cap. Clowns comes after onto Ohm. Oh, I'm taking huge damage! Three hits from Wise Killers. Even Divine, come on, click. How was that so much damage? I'm really confused. It was three hits. There's Frost Arrows. Could have got Marksmanship, proc chances. There was Crows of Haze. He's buff. He didn't dodge any of them. 
Let, let, let's look at this again. Okay. Silenced. Drow. Multi shot. 1,000, 1,000, 1,000. How in the world was that so much damage? Let's, let's look again. Multi shot does 185% base bonus damage. Or base damage bonus. So, 358 in that attack range. The 358 plus the 185 bonus plus 85 percent so we're about at like 650 we'll say 700 to be nice you got the armor reduction from this 24 reduction you've got more armor you've got eight armor so that's negative 12 armor i don't I'm guessing the math adds up somehow. I don't know how it adds up. Rolling Thunder comes up, hits onto the drow, and the Ember Spirit. Are things happening yet? We're about to go. Okay, time to leave. Switch back to this. Yeah, we're here. Woo! They're all here in the lobby. Thank you, son, for pinging me. Dubu's here. Dubu's here. I didn't know Dubu was going to be here. This is really sad. What am I supposed to do? Dubu's on the other team. And Butthouse on the other team. <gasps> this is going to be so fun. I have no idea. I went down the wrong pipe. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> here we go. Wait, is, the, is my audio on? My audio is on. Congratulations. Welcome everyone to the Amateur Dota 2 League Season 36 Warrior Division. We've got a best of two tonight between Washed Up, CSM, and the High Octane Apes. We're here in the regular season. This is week number two. Both teams went 2-0 last week in their first series. So these are both two teams are tied for first place. I mean, technically it's just week number two, so who really cares? But yeah, Washed Up CSM. Keep your eyes on butt health and Dubu, Dubu, Dubu is Dubu. This is the Dubu before the other Dubu. This is the right Dubu. No Man's Land also looks familiar. I don't actually know. I don't actually know. Binary Boy, Herb, I don't know these people. Then we got Sun here, like the Joker, but he plays Dota. AKA Torrentingus Tokingus. AKA Sun, AKA a bunch of other stuff. Harb is officially Harb. I think his name is different when we get to the actual thing. Stim made the offlaner of legend. Blink. We saw Blink last time in this. Is this Riley Ann or who? I don't know who this is, but we'll see who this is. I feel like last time I recognized them, but I don't right now. First two picks, we take the two hammer people. We have the male hammer who came first. At least male presenting hammer. Male pronouns, you know. And then Dawnbreaker. When she came out, I was like, wait, it's a female Omni Knight. Because they both wear like robes and they both have like yellow stuff and they're all about purity and like light and stuff and they both have gigantic hammers that they weigh on people with but hers she's definitely more of a carry than omni knight usually is and omni knight's definitely more of a support she can actually be a core and is played as a core my only gripe against dawnbreaker is her cosmetic the really cool one that looks cool her her hammer it's officially a hammer in the lore in the description of everything it's a hammer this is a hammer for some reason her her aesthetic makes this a mace. It's like a spiked ball mace, which doesn't make sense. And then the sound that it makes when she hits someone with it doesn't make sense. Like Omni Knight's sound, this makes sense for his giant hammer he's carrying. But hers, you, you'll hear it. Tins it does not fit man. when you have the other Ladies aesthetic. That's, that's my little complaint of, of the evening. Watch up CSM, bans out the two favorite heroes of Stimmate. If Stimmate gets Night Stalker, then he wins, except when he doesn't. And then Brewmaster, he has definitely got nerfed so much in the last patch. I don't know if, if Stimmate has figured out the new broom. Because you, you can't just rush Ags and then refresh her, and then you Five get two and then four remaining. four splits. Now, Scepter gives you the, the other one, which is not a split. So it's it's, it's a bit it's a bit different. Um, I don't know. They ban up Tiny and Tusk. Two super awesome supports. I've been trying to play Tiny of late. Has not gone very well. I think I do okay in the early game. I'm pretty good at 
roaming around and like tossing people back onto like back to my my teammates but then once we get later on i kind of got to rely upon them like you can't solo kill someone when you're support tiny you can't really do that so you just initiate and then try to communicate with your team and then try to like follow up on people and then you you cut normally once you do your combo you can't really do anything until your combo's up again i didn't build anything um like damage wise i feel like i almost won we we did so well together we just couldn't carry it all the way through yeah high octane apes they ban out coddle annoying mid quap so lovely arcana <laughs> zeus super strong mid still buff even even after this newest patch he was already buffed with his heavenly jump. I think they nerfed it ever so slightly. I don't actually recall. They really don't want to see the new Void Arcana. They ban out the Void, ban out Juggernaut, the super straightforward carry. I love Juggernaut. And they ban out Rubik. Don't want things to get stolen. I don't know what they expect to get stolen. I suppose stealing Ten seconds disruptions annoying. Stealing Solar Guardians annoying because it's hard for a Dawnbreaker to cast Five that. Like she casts her Solar Guardian and then. If Rubik is nearby when she lands, or where she departs, it's so easy to steal. She can't do anything while she's channeling it. And when she lands, there's an animation where Rubik can easily steal it. So it's like a guaranteed Solar Guardian steal. Or her other stuff is also very good. Shadow Demon's really good. They can, they can have a nice setup with Dawnbreaker, technically. Clockwork also works okay with Dawnbreaker. Um, not like amazing, because then Dawnbreaker, you want to time it such that your Starbreaker, the third hit, hits right as the disruption ends if you're trying to prevent like a, a TP or, or sorry a blink away like a Ricky, Ricky blink away but then you miss the f first two strikes of, Do of Starbreaker so that's not as good I don't know I'm just talking Omni Knight is just Omni Knight I don't really know he's he's strength he's supportive he's probably gonna support Ricky I would expect but picking the three stu these three heroes he's not like Particularly good, particularly bad. He can't counter any of these heroes. He just exists. Ricky's going to be good up against Clockwork because of the mobility. Also good up against Dawn and Shadow Demon. The cloud's going to be amazing for against the two of them. And the Blink Strike to get away from Dawnbreaker, Starbreaker, and, all, and get out of Cox. Very important. The apes grab up Death Prophet. Five seconds remaining. I was their third pick. She's likely going to be mid hero or off laner. I see her played equally as often mid or off laner. So I have seen the pros do some old school tri lanes. Brilliant I'm really hoping it comes back. I miss the old school tri lanes. Especially when they put like the hard carry in the off lane instead of the safe lane. Some really cool stuff. I like it when they shake things up. It appears though Tide Hunter is going to be their fourth pick. Likely their pause three. So we're going to see Tide in the off lane, Death Prophet most likely at mid. They're showing that a bit early, but Death Prophet is a fairly safe mid. Not as Five easily countered. She has a good remaining. amount of spam, good amount of tower push, good amount of sustain. Hard to really wreck. Certain heroes can do better up against her, but still, she's, she's generally a solid hero. You could pick like DK. You could pick... Okay, Pango can be decent too. Probably not going to be Pango mid. Um, Konko would be pretty good. Mm. Oh, I haven't seen OD in a while. OD would be cool. Viper, Viper would be good in this matchup. Viper to counter the Tide Hunter and the Ricky. Viper would be pretty good. Also, combos with Cogs pretty well. Five seconds. But they don't really have a hard carry. You could make Viper be the hard carry. Doesn't work quite as well. If we have offlane Dawnbreaker and mid Pango, they could also have offlane Pango and mid Dawnbreaker. Both heroes are perfectly fine either way. Now, I assume Riki is still their hard carry. I assume. Support Riki is not Dying really ban. much of a thing. It, it exists. But not really a thing. You, you never see a support juggernaut. That's not really a thing. There is a support weaver. That's totally a thing. And support monkey. Radiant team but they have ban. utility. Riki doesn't really have much utility. He has a cloud. That's like it. Grimstroke gets banned. I don't know why. They don't really have much combo with the Grimstroke. I guess they do. They are they are susceptible to silences. One, Ten two, three heroes remaining. with really good mobility spells. Hookshot and his jetpack. Five Celestial Hammer. Remaining. And 
whatever his thing he's called. His his thing. What's his ah thing? His first skill is cute. We'll see what it is. I, I don't know why I can't think of it. Um, swashbuckle. So they're susceptible to silences. That would be a lot of silence with Death Prophet comboed with Grimstroke, but still no single target spells here that would work super well with Grimstroke's ult. That's what I always look for. Some really straightforward combo. Storm gets spam. They're still expecting a mid here. So it will support Death Prophet or support Leaky. Fire does not have last pick, so they do have to show their cards right now. They bans Necro and Terrorblade. We're still not sure who's going to be in what lane. Both teams are being a little bit circumspect. But Washed Up CSM does have the last pick. If anyone knows what CSM stands for, please let me know. I probably should know what it stands for. Based on their picture, it appears to be a monkey with a cigarette on the left side. So... Watched up cigarette smoking monkey. Yeah? Because it's a monkey smoking a cigarette. Yeah? Could also be washed up coconut scurvy melon. Coconut sour melon. That doesn't seem as good. Um, Crystal Maiden is the clear one there, but what does the S stand for? Crystal Silent Maiden. Criminal Sticky Mastermind. Silo Superhero Mentos. <laughs> They're taking their time, only six seconds left. They grabbed Jakiro as their second support. They were not pulling any tricks this time. Watch up CSM, they they weren't quite sure. Jakiro. Rubik's a good a good counter to Jakiro. Jakiro versus Pango is not that good. Versus Shadow Demon is Okay, I guess. And Clockwork. Hmm. Five so it's an AoE silence. Combos well with Tidehunter. Gives them that harass, that longer range team fighting ability. Tidehunter to frontline with the huge crowd control. Jakiro to follow with the Ice Path. Also combos with Tidehunter's new Tendril. His little shard. Very cute. I have not seen it very much. Death Prophet for the Exorcism follow-up. Riki for the Cloud. Keeping everyone silenced after they get stunned. After they come out of their stun, and Omni Knight for the huge defensive heals. A very well-rounded team over here. Definitely dependent upon the three huge ults from Omni, Death Prophet, and Tidehunter. Jakiro has the more stamable spells, which is definitely good. So generally, a well-rounded lineup. Riki is not the best of carries. Washed up CSM grabs Drow as their final pickup. As their carry. Dubu! Woo! I thought Dubu was was support. So is Butt Health mid? Yeah, Butt Health is mid, I think. Sun is DP, mid DP. Blade is Riki. And Blank is Omni Knight. She is awesome. Stimmate, I have not seen Stimmate play Tidehunter off lane. And this is, wait, what? This is Harv. This is a person I don't know. I forget who this is. I don't know who it is. You are now Jakiro. You are now Ame. Because I don't know how to say any of this stuff. That is something. Zeg GX. You're a person. We're here. Urbo. Sounds familiar. Adnan. Dubu. But health. Binary boy. That's the lineup we got. My prediction is going to be... Mm. They have way better team fight over here. Here they have shorter cooldowns. A lot more spammy. Not as much team fight. These guys are so beefy. I'm going for the apes. I'm going for the apes. That's my prediction. I'm sticking to it. Whoa, level 12 Pango. So many things filled in. Harb on the Riki, level 12. Oh, 496. He got just enough levels to get the Void Arcana. I love it. Well done, Harb. Well done. Yep, tips to Harb for getting level 496 on your on your battle pass. Everyone's very, very friendly. Tell me 
Well, welcome everyone. We have finished the drafting phase. We are on to the actual game. High Octane Apes here on the Dire side versus Wash Up CSM on this bottom side. Apes versus Apes. Oh, Apes versus Monkeys apparently. Because I'm guessing CSM is still some kind of like... Oh, Chain Smoking Monkeys! That makes more sense, right? Chain Smoking Monkeys? Rather than Cigarette Smoking Monkeys, but Chain Smoking. They both put an Ops warning exactly the same spot. Nice job, Admin, getting vision of that so that now they know exactly where the ward is. Do they have a sentry ward ready to go? Yep. They do indeed. Notice me, but how if you played any DP this patch? Nope. But I gave Dosia a free lane on it, and he did good, so now I know what's good. If he did good on it, you know. You got this, son! You got it! Everyone's taking their runes, nothing too dramatic. Binary boy, don't get too excited. Don't get too excited. A little bit of damage on a stimmate. Stimmate is not very happy with that. Go stats! Go stats, that'll make you super tanky. DP just needs stats, okay? It seems to be the general consensus. Here we go. I already have the first D ward up here. Well done by Adnan. Oh wait, they D ward each other. Really? Wait, what? I must have missed something. Did they deny their own ops ward? I guess they did, just to not give them the gold. Well, here we go, over at top. <coughs> oh my God, so much popcorn. <coughs> over at top, we have Blank on the Omni Knight with the Hammer of Purity and double Immortals. Wait, triple Immortals? Triple Immortals? One, two, three, four Immortals! Whoa! So many Immortals. Supporting Blade Minus, AKA Harb. Trying to be really, really cool there on the Riki with the cool green blades. Nice work. They're up against Adnan on this really, really annoying clockwork. Simming out the Battery Assault. Already had the nice D ward before the game even started. Supporting Dubu. This is the Dubu. Dubu Polar Bear. Dubu Bear. Dubu. The Dubu on, on the Pango. Nice pull by Adnan. I, I guess. I mean, okay. Harv cancels it. Well done, Harv. And then bring the creeps over because why not? Over at, over at bottom, things are happening. Jakir's getting super, super low. Almost dropped. Multi shot coming out. It's not quite going to make it. The illusions. Maybe so close, but nope. Jakiro does end up surviving. Over at bottom, we have this person that I don't know. Only if she's packing. Hoa. We're going to call you Hoa because I don't know how to say your actual name. Hoa on the Jakiro. Supporting Stimmate on the Tidehunter with the cool Kraken Immortal on the back shell. I like it. They're up against. Binary boy taking a good chunk of damage. There's disruption on to Jakiro. This might be first blood coming up here. Is it going to have a nice block? It does have a little bit of block. Slow's coming out from Frostbite and Frost Arrows. Down goes Hoa to Urbo on the Shadow Demon. Good combo with the two of them. Nice rotation by Urbo. Circling around. First blood goes to Chain Smoking Monkeys. CSM. I'm still guessing on their name. I still don't know. Finally, over at mid, we have. Torrenting us, toking us, aka Sun, aka what's his name today? He had like a different name today. Nice Starbaker hunt combos onto Sun. On the Death Prophet, up against Butt Health. We, we all love Butt Health. On the Dawnbreaker, they each have bottles. They're each trying to get the last hits. Looks like Butt Health currently has a slight edge, but just because I just talked and Sun missed two last hits in a row, that would have brought him pretty much even. Sorry, son. I messed you up there. Over here, Adnan rotates, grabs the bounty rune. Well done. Urbo got the bounty rune at bottom. Looks like CSM is doing a good job of being in the right spot at the right time. Stimmate's going to work on getting that Vlad's first, most likely building into Wraith Pact. Going for sustain versus initiation, I, I guess. I feel like they should they can make good use of initiation though they have shadow demon for the saves 
and Pango to Rolling Thunder out of there and all that stuff to go with it. They do block in Blade, aka Harv. Cogs push him out, drain a lot of mana. Blinks on the other side, just trying to be really annoying while he can. Not confusing at all, we've got Blink and Blade. Two letter difference in the same lane, on the same team, with melee heroes. But, you know, Harv is, is Harv. Harv is Harv. Nice swashbuckle on Dubu. Dubu, I'm rooting for you. I'm rooting for you. Wait, Connie's little pig? I don't I don't get it. I don't get it. Pango's going for the Orb of Corrosion. Well done. Last hit wise, but Hell's still leading at mid. But fairly even with Sun and Blade is beating out Drow by about five so far. The Drow has a lot more denies. Stimmate and Pango are about even. Over at bottom frost arrows onto here. Um, Hoa's getting kinda low. Disruption up in a second. Hold the shot comes out. Hoa almost goes down the disruption onto Tide instead. Hoa should be able to survive. Nice job microwing the Tide Hunter illusions. Trying to spot out Hoa. It's not gonna be enough though. Well, I mean, no surprise there. Hoa's maxing out the Nanker Smash, as you would expect. Adnan does get denied. Well done. Blink's got a level of the Hammer of Purity. Got it first. Bonus damage. Nice job coming out there. Batteries holds there. Blocking in Blink. Blink pops the Mango. Pops the Heavenly Grace. Trying to get out of there. Swash is there. Does hit. Still doing a lot of damage on there. Is going to be enough. It does hold him off long enough. And then gets slowed by the Hammer of Purity. Blade is kind of stuck in there now. Pops the sick charges. And they're all good. That Heavenly Grace is pretty buff. I feel like it's not very good, but it it does. It gives it gives you bonus stuff. Cause I guess debuffs and stuff too if you do it at the right time. Whatever. What's happening now? It's kind of slow. Everyone's fairly even. What are people going for? <laughs> Dawn Breakers got the DD rune. Going for phase boots, I assume. Yep, almost there. Nice job, son. D ward in the high ground. 124 gold in favor of the Omni Knight. Clock going for four staff first. It also makes sense. Cogs in there. Or hook shot. Cogs, four staff out of there. If you want to be more defensive. Four staffing people out of ice pass, out of various things. Always good to have. Tango's going for Ar arcane boots first. Need that mana. Blaze farm in the creeps. They're in a little bit of a weird spot. Adnan's here just getting some XP. Clarity's there. Blink knows as well, but they're both melee. They can't really do much about it. Adnan did not get a Rocket Flare, so they don't actually have it. Blink does go cancel off the Clarity. He's already back at like full HP though, so who really cares? Bounty Room gets taken. Disruption on the Stimmate. Stimmate's just trying to get some creeps over. But nice job, Disruption, taking it away over at mid. But Hell takes down Sun with the DD, tips the Sun. I totally Dyer's missed it. Middle tower is under attack. Poor son, you tried so hard. You tried so hard. You got stunned, you got damaged. You just got whacked. Celestial hammer. Starbreaker, starbreaker, and attack. Time is wow, this gives you so much stuff. This gives you so much stuff. Wow. So Starbreaker did 157. Then 348. Cause it was cause it was two of them? Or is it, was it the third one? Six points, dash damage. Oh, Solar Guardian coming out. Onto somewhere, on the top. Onto somewhere. Where are they? Over here. They do take out Blade. Harv loses his first life 3-0 in favor of CSM. I am totally not paying attention to the right spot. Nice Solar Guardian. Nice first Solar Guardian by Butt Health. Excellent play. Rocket Flare goes out, scouts out the rune. It's not actually there. Sun will get it at the bottom. Get the illusion rune. Does have exorcism if they want to push. Seems like they could. They're, just, they're, not, they're not really in the right position yet. Bottom lane's going very well for CSM at this point. They're not very low. Got level 6 on Drow. Level 4 on Urbo. They can't really take out Drow. Drow is level 6, but they're not in the right spot. Shakiro's kind of low. They pop an exo. They're going all in. Do they know the binary boys alone? TP's coming in this time. Can they do it? Blank is here. They want to take down someone. First kill finally by a hawk attack and apes. Heal's coming out. 
Illusion Room is popped. Shakira is trapped in the backside. Adams here with the Battery Assault takes down Hoa. There's the Cogs of the Spirit Siphon. They take out Urbo as well. Adams kind of trapped as well. Do they have any stuff? Torrenting does end up popping the Illusion Rune. Adam is still here. They, they gotta know. They saw Adam. They were attacking him. Glyph gets popped. Nice, nice two kills from Hoa. Exorcism does wear off. They might be able to save the tower. Looks like it is going to drop, though. Adnan still hanging out. Has Tranquil Boots going to be healing right back up. TB's coming in. They're going to have one last hurrah. <laughs> Adnan's just level 5, though. Bite off is here, though, with the Celestial Camera coming in. Lots of damage. Starbreaker to get follow, but gets canceled for the Ice Pass. Huge Ice Pass, but a uh, dual breath with the slows. Stimmate might be able to get out of there. Not quite level 6. TB's out. Is it going to be enough? Do they have a way to cancel it? They have Battery Assault, but not any way to cancel before he got out of there. Well done, Stimmate. Blades doing a lot of damage on a Dubu. Dubu does it for Wind Thunder. Has Swashbuckle. Gets out of there. Well timed. Blades looking for it. Blink Strike not quite in range. Good move by Dubu. Very excellent awareness. Working on Diffusal next. I highly approve. Diffusal is very good. Arcane Room for Sun. Over at bottom. Hoa does show themselves. Urbo is not quite level 6 yet. Neither is Hoa. Pen goes back to base. Time for some more popcorn. But health is level 9 and Stun is level 8. Sun's going for Yules. Oh. Hoa finally drops the bottom. They did use the disruption. Not much that they can do there. Urbo is still not quite level 6, but Drought is doing pretty good farm wise. I assume working on. Oh. Not going for Dragonlance. Going for. Did, the, did she maybe buy the wrong thing? Did she, did she think it was the old Dragonlance? Over at mid, they take down Sun with the first Rolling Thunder, I'm assuming. Adnan did not use the hook shot. Good kill on the Sun. Very well done. Ravage is now available. I'm guessing they're going to have to rely upon Harb for follow up. Harb for the carries. Harb versus Drow. I would favor Drow in general, especially with the Shadow Demon, especially with all the saves that they have. I don't think it's going to be as easy for Harb to outcarry. Exo is up. Quick Swarm looks like they're going to push, especially with the Arcane Rune. Do they have it? Arcane is popped. Exo is popped, and here they go in. Ice Pad connects onto the. On, oh wow, a nice Ravage coming out. Adnan comes in with the hook shot, but it's not quite enough. So in there, save a little bit longer. Stimmate is getting a hit by the very soul, but Adnan eventually goes out. Crypt Swarm does connect, and Torrenting is, gets the kill onto Adnan. Double kill for Sun. Still working on the tower. Glyph is popped because they felt like popping it. And the middle tower is going to go down over at bottom. Blade's trying to take out Drow, but Drow just TBs out because what are you going to do against a Riki? What is Riki going to do, going to do against that? Definitely good move by Hoa. By, wow. High octane apes. That's why it's Hoa. Now I feel embarrassed. Um, do boost. Truly short swatch buckle. Trying to get out of there. It's going to be enough, but one more hit comes off from Sun, and Sun gets the kill on Dubu. Oh, probably a little bit of, a little bit of panicking there. Swashbuckled really, really close by. Maybe clicked on the wrong spot at the wrong time. Maybe use quick cast. I've been trying to learn quick cast myself. Whatever reason, tried to, to rolling thunder out of there. It wasn't quite fast enough. Crypt Swarm, Spirit Siphon, and attack damage. Woo! Oh, Spirit Siphon did the final step because that goes through. Cannot be dispelled. Wait, how does that go through Rolling Thunder? Disruption. Blank. Blank is okay. Blank. Already used Guardian Angel. There is the Demonic Purge. On to Sun. It's going to finish off. No harm, no foul. And they move on with their lives. Sun's pretty close to that Yules. And now he has Yules. Well done. Going to work on that Shard next. Still need a little bit more time. Shard, definitely a good item when the other team is going to be right up in your face that long. Ice Path connects, but Starbreaker ends just in time. Rocket Flare goes out. Can they get on their Blades? They're super, super low. Tricks the trade on there. Um, they can't quite take on Bud Health. It was so close. Omni was there with the heals, but only a level one heal. 
Harvey did not want to risk it. Nice job with the defusal. But health is here with the heals from the Luminosity. Whoa, Sun got back in the lead net worth wise. They're all tied. Pause two, pause two, pause one, pause one, pause three, pause three. Wait a second. The pause four and five are making the difference. Adnan, you are you're about as far away from this. They're all so even. They're so close. Okay, you can use the top. They're going to take off something. The tower does go down. Nice job, Harb. With the deny. They drop a sentry ward. Harb needs to be very careful. He's got to know. Up. Oh. Herbo showed himself. Herbo was so close. If he got the disruption off, they would have got a kill almost certainly. Oh, they got the four heroes up here. A little bit too aggressive. Herbo was so close to being within range. Binary boy, are you going to make up for it? Hurricane Pike is definitely the way to go, especially up against Riki. I still think this was a, this was a miss by, a misclick from the old Dragonlance. Smoke at mid. They're working on it. Sun shows himself. He was not smoked. Stimmate's here though has the ravage. Does he want to go for it? Stimmate. The cog, the thing is there. They do catch both of them in the cogs. Actually, Miss Pop. Ice Pack Tank as well. So Guardian comes out. It's going to be huge heals. Warrant Thunder comes in. Tech checks out Stimmate. <coughs> Hookshot comes in. Heavenly Grace doing a whole lot of work with the heals. Still trying to work through a Starbaker, but there's the gush. There's the slow and down goes Butt Health. Down goes Adnan. Herbo gets taken out by Herbo this time. Tips to Adnan. Spirit Siphon onto Dubu this time. Herbo's gone on the other side. Spirit Siphon's still going on to Dubu. There's the gust from Binary Boy. Binary Boy, be careful. Be careful. Sun is still going. Sun, what are you doing? Sun! Dispel from Heavenly Grace. Sun's going all in. Sun's going all in. Sun, uh, Sun, Sun. There's the Yules. The Binary Boys here has the Salve. Perfectly fine. Gus catches that on to Riki. And Riki's in trouble. And Riki goes down. They're being so aggressive. Tips to Harv. Well deserved. You are being way too aggressive. Smoke gets out of there. Smoke gets instantly popped because DP's there. They're going in. Adnan's in a lot of trouble probably. Sun is there. Wants to get a disruption but not quite in range. Hookshot up in five seconds. They're going to find Adnan though. I mean, they're going to find Blank. And Blank's going to go down. They do get disrupted eventually because of hookshot onto Sun. Sun spirit siphoning. There's the hookshot actually. And down goes Sun. Binary boy with a double kill. HOA paid for their crimes. They paid for pushing past the tier 3 tower and staying there for so long. Ugh. Oh, that is just like them. That's just like them. Losing three heroes just like that. Look at that. They won a fight and then they lost three heroes. It's okay. It's okay. Gush comes up. Blade is here. Goes in on tier. Disruptor for the save. Well done. The Fugle's there, there's Monk Perch on Fair Dust as well. Tricks the Drake comes out of there. There is the Rolling Thunder coming in. Multi shot and takes out Stimmate and Blade. So much Rick that he's on a blank. Blank is getting absolutely ripped apart. Triple kill for Binary Boy. They're working together very, very well. Big spells not up from HOA this time. We're not able to turn it back. Exo's not up. Ravage's not up. Guardian Angel is not up. Great positioning by Herbo. Getting the quick save on the Drow. Drow's probably has Hurricane Pike flying out as we speak. Yep, Hurricane Pike. That's gonna make her. You can't. You won't be able to single pick her off anymore. At least Riki won't be able to. She can force stuff out of the cloud. And gust and stuff. But health got the shards. Now we got the magic community from Starbreaker, which is very, very good. There we go. Magic community. Stimmate's here. Stimmate wants to say hi. Stimmate's still working on Vlad's. TV's coming out from Bud Health this time. No way to cancel it. Sun is here. Sun is shard too. One shard, two shard. Fuel, defusal. Going for BKBI. Oh, going for Deso on Dawnbreaker. Fun is common. I like it. I like it. Drow working on Yasha next, so that band of elves skin is not for nothing. Riki has defusal. Stimmate is having a pretty slow farm game. I'm sorry. 
definitely dropped far behind Dubu. We don't have blink on Dubu. Dubu did not go for blink. I guess they have disruption for initiation and hookshot and dawnbreaker. There's no need for Pengo to be the initiator. They're huddling up. Four hero smoke. Working on. Oh, this could be big. Smoke does get popped. Peek is coming out in various directions. They saw the courier coming back, so they know. That's a nice deep ward. Wow. Circling on a drow. Binary boy might be in a little bit of trouble. Blades here. Ice pack connects onto no one. Disruption onto drow this time. Do they have to say it? Shadow demon. Shadow demon. Solar guardian comes in, but it's not quite enough. It does stun on two heroes. Kevin the Grace purges it off. Yules comes in. Poke shot comes in as well. Nice job with the timing. Huge Starbreaker comes out with a huge stun. Blight Spike comes out with them with the Ravage. Max Fire Shop as well. Dual Breath and Exorcism. And down goes Blood Health and Adnan. Exo popped by Torrentingus, toking us. And top tier one tower finally goes down. <laughs> huge fight for HOA. Taking out the two highest cores. A little bit confusing. I thought that they, they pinged the the carrier here, so I thought they knew that there was a smoke and that they were coming this way. But I'm guessing they thought they were maybe like over here instead of coming up over here. And then I thought they were gonna run into into butt health, but they didn't. Very confusing. Well, all the big ults are down except for Guardian Angel. Now HOA has to be like, you know, take a foot out the gas put a little bit, be a little bit more careful. Drow is level 12. And has Grobo, the ideal item for Drow. Second most one, best one is probably the Ring of Aquila, whatever you call it, in Viz on DP. So it gets broken, Hookshot hits on two. Oh, but the huge Ice Pass catches on one, two, three of them. Rolling Blood comes back in. Hookshot there, disrupting for the save. Special Hammer comes in. Oh my gosh, so much Rick. Nice, huge gust coming up. You're all trapped in, but who trapped in with who? Dubu takes them, most teammate and Sun. Ice Pass there with the Macro Fire. Down goes Adnan to the Jakiro, but Jakiro is taken out by Dubu this time. Triple kill. And that's it. With their ults down, they couldn't counter it. The hook shot, the rolling thunder, everything just came in. Cogs in the perfect spot. Starbreaker Magic Community. Well done. Played working on Manta. Not gonna do too much, but that's four charges now for but health. Lots of damage. Blank's gotta be careful. Blank does grab the bounty rune. Both of them. Blank, Blank going for mech. So that was Blank. Fuel's now on Dubu. Okay. Going for BKB on the DP. Tide. Decided to go for Hood first, and then Flats. It's gonna take a long time to get to that Wraith Pack. Got a long road to farm. A little bit of action over here, maybe. Notice me! Buff health breaking on Blink. Maybe BKB first. I feel like BKB is probably the much better idea. They don't have anything to go through BKB as far as stuns go. You can get you can get your Solar Guardian off with ease. Four Hero Smoke. Do they want to go for Roche? They do have Exo, but it's probably not a good idea. But how TB's out of there, and what, you just kind of blew your smoke. It's okay. They ping out Roche. They saw what the Rocket Flare. They saw that Ho was here. On the Jakiro. But that was kind of obvious. If, if they saw that, then they know that HOA saw that. Oh, and so they know HOA wouldn't be actually be in Rush. Clockwork sends out the Rocket Flare just so they know. Oh no, but you put up your Ops Ward right with the Ardavis Entry Ward. That's annoying. It's just kind of annoying when you're up against a Clock or like a. or a TA. or an Invoker. Poor Hero Smoke this time. Because they have really easy ways to scout out if you're in the Roche Pit from very far away. Looks like Hoa might go down themselves. 
They gotta be really careful. Smoke. Ice Path connects on the one hero they can actually see. They're doing a really good job of baiting. Clockwork is gonna bait. Are they gonna follow? How far are they gonna follow? Still have not broken the smokes. Well done by Washed Up CSM. Admin is the only person actually showing themselves. Smoke does eventually wear off, but they were very, very close there. That could have been amazing. Blade gets on a binary boy, a binary boy, four steps up to the ground. Do they have a way to cancel the sun? They do not. They have vision. They don't quite have it. <coughs> Blade with DD, but it's not going to be quite enough. Blink forward to the wrong direction. They catch up the two supports. Sounds like that as well. Can they take out the Shadow Demon? This could be huge because that's the one big save they have. Tricks the trade, finishes up Urbo. Admin still here. Gus catches out one, two heroes with the silence. But Harb does get a double kill. Finishes off. <coughs> the two supports. <coughs> oh. Now they're gonna work on the tower, maybe. Maybe not. I feel like binary boy, you do need a shot at some point. Gonna be very good up against everyone. From Omni skills, from Tide Hunter junk, from DP Spirit Siphons, all very, very good. But Exo though, DD, oh DD's over. They're gonna be able to quickly take down Roche. They do scout it out with the Rocket Fair, but no chance they're gonna be able to conceal it at this point. Are we finally gonna get Blast? We do finally have Blast, that is huge. Nice job with the preemptive silence, nice positioning by Hoa to block out a potential hookshot. Quick smoke, they wanna quickly capitalize on this. There's the Gush coming forward, Urbo's so in a little bit of trouble, maybe Drill by Cesare, there's the disruption. Start for a little bit longer. Silence comes out a little bit early. Smoke comes out. They are being really, really, really cautious. I'm actually going to finish her off. Spirit Siphon with the fear, and eventually Urbo does drop down. You can tell none of them wanted to actually get up, like, directly on top of Urbo. It was under the tower, so Blade would have been exposed. They could all easily be caught by a hookshot and waste the Aegis. Waste the Aegis they just picked up. Good placement by HOA. Also, good job from CSM. Being in the right spot. Blade TP's top. Looking to pick off Butt Health or Binary Boy. Binary Boy TP's out. Blade doesn't have a way to cancel it. Even if he does find them, Butt Health Solar Guardians over to mid this time. Rolling Thunder is probably there, I'm assuming. Ice Pack KX is out. There's no Rolling Thunder, but the silence comes out. Here's the Yules. Spirit Siphon is going on to like everyone. XO is not available. The Sun Max is down. Blink goes on to Binary Boy. Nice little shot on to Sun. And Sun is going to lose the first life already. Poe is still here. Stimmate already used Ravage this time. And then instant stun. Down goes Sun to Binary Boy. Ho was waiting on the other side, trying to get there. Do they have a way to stop it? They do not have a way to stop it. Well done. TP'd out from Hoa. Oh, that was rough. Blade, Blade TP'd out. They took their chance. Solar Guardian in. Drow was there. Ravage was used, but not at the right time. That was an amazing ice pass from Ice Path from Hoa. But TP could not do anything. She does, she really does need BKB. It's gonna be huge. Oh, go on, Stimmate, Stimmate, Bolt Shot to the ground, and Bolt Stimmate does eventually drop. Well done. Final Ray Boy is 10 and 2. Ooh. Final Ray Boy is getting buff. 2k above the next HOA player. Knock the fires up. GA is up. XO is up. Ice Pack has Thunder, one of them. Drow's getting hit a little bit. Sorry, comes back. Connect under there. GA is popped. No damage taken from physical stuff. Blink in, but Blink is. Blink is. Blade is in trouble. Blade is getting totally wrecked. Mantas triggers the trade out of there. It's going to be the silence, but the sun. But Blade gets taken out. Do we finish up Blink as well? And Hoba gets taken out by Butt Health. Sun has popped XO, trying to work on someone. There's Spirit Siphon working on Butt Health, working on various people. Exo still got a little bit longer this time. Tips to Blade because Blade did blink in and get Rolling Thunder at exactly the wrong moments. That just does not feel good. I can't feel good. Once again though, their ults, they didn't quite have all the ones up at the same time. They seem to need all their ults up at the right time. Ravage is huge. Now we got the BKB though on Binary Boy. Roll up on Dubu. So that's going to be even more magic immunity from Dubu. Even more ways to ignore the Ravage. Lots the TV's coming in. Ice Path connects on to on a Drow this time. There's the Diffusal. There's Great Siphon coming out. Is it going to be enough? But no. Solar Guardian comes out. Disruption for the save. 
going on the sun and sun gets critted and down goes sun to butt health. Blink is also going to get caught out with the silence and gets wrecked. Can they catch up on the blade? Ice pad comes in like cancels them out. Blade's still here. They want to do a little bit more damage. When the center comes in, they do take out Adnan on the backside with Blade. Still working on Jakiro. Slush Waver comes out. Ice Path also to follow. Hits onto the Dawnbreaker, but it's not going to be quite enough. Blade is still somewhere. They clean up the illusions at least. Working on the tower. Not looking so good for High Octane Apes. They got to play it safe. Wait for all their, their ults to come back up. And then... Try to have another big team fight. Or another good pickoff. Blades, Blade is, you know, Blades there. They do pop dust. Pops Manta. Oh no! Blink strike away. That was really close. <laughs> I thought maybe Sidmate walked a little too far away. Almost Wraith packed on Stimmate very close. It's going to be a pretty significant item. All that damage reduction. We do have a gem on Urbo. That's pretty big. And we do have Shark. That's cool. <laughs> Demonic Cleanse. So many abilities. That's cool. I've never seen Demonic Cleanse used before. Working on this tower. Gonna get it for free, it seems like. Dyer's bottom tower Blades working on Basher still, but probably like need buyback. They made it in there. Ice Path connects this time. Can they finish off the Drow? They do take out the Drow finally four times to get any binary boys there. He can be spocked perfectly this time. GA is there as well. Can they do anything? Spirit Lightning pushes away. But health and butt health finally goes down. Rowan Thunder still working on their debuts, just rolling out of their blinks away. But here is Timmy with the Gush, getting on to SD. And can she get out fast enough? No, they cannot. Three kills from HOA, catching them out as they were working on the tower. They did lose the tower. They took out two of the cores, which is very significant. Dubu did manage to recover the gem, which is very important. Adnan did not get a chance to use the hook shot. They, they did really well on that on that drow. Ravage done, into Ice Pass done, into Liquid Frost done. Into silence. Macro Pirate Purification. Anchor Smash. Attack damage. Ice Path. Primary Purity. Ravage. Where's your shard? Tendrils of the Deep. It's so good. Um, stay mate. You got Wraith Pact. Please go for shard. Please go for shard. I feel like it's really, really good. Sunspeak AB timing was absolutely fantastic. We do have Bastion now on Blade. Blade is, of course, Harb, and Harb, of course, Harb, of course, does not go for BKB. Except last week. He went BKB last week. I don't know why. He just did. And I kept talking about it. I was like, wow, he's going a really, really safe build. Very unlike Harp. He usually just ignores BKB, ignores defensive items, goes straight for damage. Assume so, get there eventually. Or Hero Smoke here. They're pushing up. They do know there's a ward there. Hook shot though onto Sun. Sun in trouble if the sounds coming up. He could be his pop this time. Sword Guardian comes out, but can Sun survive? Sun is spirit siphoning and healing up a lot, but does eventually go down to Urbo. Primary Boy Dishon had a huge amount of damage there. Was there a GA? GA was not available. That's why Blades get an absolutely wrecked and Blade pops him into. Tricks the trade is it gonna be enough, but he gets silenced and he gets taken out. Too much vision, being popped by binary boy working on blink, and blink goes down. Three heroes drop, goes up for his we have cancel it. They do not have a way to cancel it, and down goes. Oh no, Jakiro gets out of there. And they go to Roche now, but Roche is not quite available. Five more seconds. And and it is another two minutes. Lucky for HOA. Good fight for them. Very good fight for CSM. They stole the gem. Blink on Dubu. We've already seen that. No bash for yet on Dubu. Ravage was not up. GA was not up. The BKB from Sun allowed him to survive a little bit longer. 
But as you saw, the Drow was dishing out so much damage. Some is stuck here. Drow was just sitting here, binary boy. Ripping through, ripping through something. Pretty ridiculous. They even had this ward here. And the sentry here. So I, I would have thought, wait, do they have vision of it? Well, let me see. Oh, they don't. They have a word here, but it can't see up here. So they don't. They didn't know there was a word placed here. That's really unfortunate because they, they would know it's there. They smoke, five hero smoke. They know Drow was there. They know Binary Boy was right there. They do see Adam and Adam four staffs away. They thought they were in rush, but they weren't. Excellent job breaking the smoke. Sentry Ward is dropped this time. Sun. Sun. BKB hook shots there. Swallow Guardian as well. Ice Pack comes out to actually connect. BKB's there onto the Drow. Drow's in trouble. Guardian Angel is popped. Herbal goes down to Blade. Blade's still working on things. Blade's going on. Blade's on the backside. Harvest comes out. Now that work on Drow. Drow just does have Hurricane Pike. Of course, up to the high ground. What else pops BKB? Has ED. They do take down Sun from Dubu. Dubu when they're rolling Thunder, probably. Bash are hitting on to Adam. Adam is eventually going to go down with the Gush. Blade takes out Butt Health. Binary Boy still there working on it. Doesn't have any mana to speak of. Can he juke it out? TV's from Dubu. They're going the wrong direction. Binary Boy. Binary boy so good! TP's out of there with the last bit of mana and down. Ho oh, ho ho. Well done, Dubu. You did lose the gem, but you saved Drow, which was absolutely amazing. Binary boy lives to Binary Boy lives to fight another day. Big fight from HOA. They did kill four heroes. And only lost Sun. GA was very nicely timed this time, but Drow could not really do much at all. Huge game changer. Now they're gonna work on Roche. They sh they should be able to. They can't really. They, I mean, they could steal it. Adam could just go for it. Seems very risky. And then Hoa's gonna do his very best to block any kind of hook shot in. Rocket flare. Do it. Do it. Nope, they're not going to do it. Okay. He just gets taken. Wraith pack was used. Blade. Who got the shard? Who got the shard? Oh. Blade got the shard. Now Blade has the sleeping dart. Which is actually really good. You're going to force Drow to use their BKB. Even if they they um, forget to use it. Just sleeping dart the Drow. Or sleeping dart the... The SD. SD can't do anything about it. Stop SD from doing anything. Sleeping Dart the annoying saver, save people. It's a long sleep. It's a long sleep. Look at that. Three seconds sleep. And four seconds slow. I mean, unless they get damaged, of course. Just be careful. They're all grouping up. Do they want to smoke? They don't have a smoke, so they don't want to smoke, probably. Stimmate has the gem. Stimmate got charred! Woo! Tendril of the Deep! Us! That's kind of funny. This Tendril of the Deep picture? It looks like the normal... Oh, yeah, because this is the immortal icon. This looks more like the non-immortal icon. Tier 4 items now. Havoc Hammer. I love it. This is my favorite Tier 4 item. Havoc Hammer. Sure, it might not be as useful as Trickster's Cloak. But come on. It costs nothing. It has a pretty short cooldown. Only 10 seconds. It does a cool amount of damage. It does a slow. It says instant cast time. I love it. Ninja Gear is kind of boring. I love it. Stormcraft is kind of cool too. And Timeless Relic, of course, is also very important. And Spell Prism is very important, but have a camera is just, it's just fun. It's just, it's just fun. They smoke, five hero smoke. Working on it, Rocket Flare does go where they are, but they have no way of knowing. They do, sm they do cast Scan over here, but it's obviously there was nobody there, so it didn't do anything. They're all sticking together. Do they have their own smoke? They don't have a smoke, but they're sticking together. Smoke wears off. They're checking out the triangle this time. T 
take out the sentries. Two more minutes left for Blade on the Aegis, working on the Scotty. And they're pushing bot. They keep on pushing. Well done from CSM. Staying out of the limelight. In the right place at the right time. HOA's got to be careful. This is how they died last time. When Riki TP top and everyone else got killed. That was also partially because they didn't have the right ults up at the right time. Now everyone's ults up. They have no reason to die. No nullifiers yet to cancel out GA or cancel out Ghost Scepter. It is queued up on Dawn. Makes a lot of sense. She kind of has to, but health is the... Someone's got to get nullifier. It makes sense for it to be Dawnbreaker. I would expect Duvi will get one eventually as well. Maybe even Drow. This is the big deal. It is dispellable though, I guess. So if we get enough of these, um, this does this does purge. So if we get the charge one, the scepter, that'll be really good. Three charges. Then you can purge off all the base, all the GA stuff. It's pretty cool. Oh, my popcorn disappeared. Everyone's playing it so safe. 2k net worth in favor of CSM. Net worth spot still taken by Binary Boy. Has BKB. Has enough for Scotty, it appears. Blade does have Scotty now. Blade's not saving for buyback. Who do you think Blade is? Who do you think? Oh. Oh no! Dubu gets out of there. Blinks out just in time. Has Basher though. Jumps forward and TPs out of there. Oh, doesn't TP out. Oh god! Show crash! Blade found him! Instant first hit bash! There's the- Oh! Where did you do the slow? Where's the slow thing? Dubu does blink out! Ah! So good! Swashbuckle! TP, please! Rolling Thunder TP! Rolling Thunder TP! Check the trade the sounds of spell and down goes Dubu. I guess he's making space. Aegis is down. I don't- I was a little confused. I feel like he could have easily rolling- Maybe not easily. I feel like he could have rolled up into Rolling Thunder and then just TP away as they're rolling thundering. That seems very plausible. Whatever. He made them take a very, very long time. Meanwhile, Binary Boy's pushing mid. They do have buyback. They don't have enough for buyback and the items, so that's probably why they're waiting. Harv is still 700 short of buyback, which is significant. CSM's doing so good, still pushing. Pushed in top now. Mid's pushed in pretty well. They steal the outpost so nobody can TP over really quickly. What's HOA gonna do? They have no Aegis. They do have really good pushing potential with Liquid Frost. With Liquid Fire. Look at that tower melt! And the Exo's popped. Oh my goodness. Adnan's here on the side. Adnan could hook try any moment, but no one's actually here. They're gonna start pushing each other. Glyph is popped on one side. Glyph is popped on the other side. They still have Exo. They still have Liquid Frost and Liquid Fire. It's... It's pretty massive. Look, the tower's getting wrecked. And they lose the tower. Ice path goes out. Trying to make sure Adnan can't walk out of there. But he does have he does have hook shot if they want to try. Looks like they're not going to. Keep these top. Top tower does not go down. Looks like they'll be okay. A bloodless fight. Bloodless. Bloodless. Shard, 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 shard. So this shard's gonna be good, it's good for purging, so purge off Gush, purge off Sleeping Dart, does it purge off instantly? This is purgeable, right? Dispellable, yeah, so that's dispellable. Gush is dispellable, I'm sure. This is only strong dispel. This is a strong dispel. This is a basic dispel, so not a strong dispel. They did smoke. This can be dispelled, this can't be dispelled except by strong dispel. They're doing good. Blade really thinks, really, really thinks there's a word up here. He really, really, really thinks there's a word up here. So strongly. There's not Blade. There was no word there. You had good game sense. Even though you were, you were totally incorrect. But now you can kind of chill over there. Now you can, you can spy on people. And be really, really careful. 
They're backing off. Pony's little pig. Exo's not quite back up yet. Still 40 seconds. They seem to be playing a bit more smarter now. They're sticking together. They wait until their cooldowns are off. Their big ults are available. But they seem to be able to win when everything's up. And the right people have BKBs when they have Wraith Pack, when they have Ravage, all that stuff. Sora Guardian seems pretty pointless at this point. They do have Nullifier though. That is pretty good. Up against GA. Very good. And Erbo can at least, at least dispel one person. Wait, is it strong dispel or normal dispel? Yes, it's normal dispel. Basic dispel. It can be dispelled with basic dispels. Demonic Purge is a basic dispel. Oh, Blade's gonna pop their smoke. It does get popped. Do they have vision? They don't have vision with those people. There's a the sentry getting dropped. But Blinken, huge one, two, three, four, hero, Ravage. Ice Pass comes down. Looks like Pango won't have any time for anything, but he does come into only on the backside, adding almost goes down. BKB's popped by like everyone. Binary Boy is still working on things. Nullifier onto the tide. He can be popped by Sun, doing so much damage with the Exo. Still surviving, getting wrecked so hard. Eventually, Adam goes down. There's Scotty damage coming out from Binary Boy. Binary Boy does get wrecked by Sun and the Exo. What else? Trying to get out of there does get cleansed. Have a camera a little bit too late. They don't take out by health. TB's out from Rebo. Stimmate! Stimmate! Tendril! Oh. I'm. Tendril was on cooldown. That makes a lot more sense. That could have been so much worse for CSM. So much. Oh, they're still working on it. They do finally catch out Dubu, and Dubu goes down. Okay, that was worse than I expected. <laughs> it could have been a lot worse, because they. it seemed like they were totally wrecked. That huge ravage from Stimmate. Absolutely amazing. Let's check it out. Did we get a sleeping dart? Did we get a sleeping dart? No, just physical damage. Death summary. Silent, silent, stunned, silence. You got it. <coughs> silent, silent, stunned, stunned. Roche time again. Roche has refresher shards. So double, double, double ravage, please, please. I don't like the change they made. I mean, it makes sense to a certain extent that it being freeze is pretty OP. It being like, it's a consumable, but it's still no mana costs. That's pretty legit. Simit, you need some mana. I don't know why Sun gets it. I guess if they're going to go for pushing strategy, that, that makes sense. They do seem to be able to do fi just fine with only one Ravage. If they're sticking together. But health had to nullify, or did nullify Tide instead of nullifying someone else. I don't know. They weren't able to take down Tide. I'm not really sure what they could have done differently. Blade could just Manta off the nullifier. It's a tough thing. That GA is pretty awesome. Up against this team, it seems pretty good. When they're relying immensely on physical damage. At this point in the at this stage of the game. Ooh, so good. Nice done. Ops ward, sentry ward. Oops, the blade does have to purge off the silence, the gust. Adnan, do you have Rocket Player True Sight? No, not yet. It's level 20. <laughs> uh Riki Illusion. Nice blink and ravage with the ice path. Finding everybody does pop the BKB some time. Rolling Thunder is coming out of there. Hooks has a lot of follow. So Ryan's gonna deliver top the BKB. They don't! Stun does land on one, two, three heroes. They're working on Blaze. Blaze get absolutely wrecked. Text trades there. He does have two lives. Even the two of fire hits on a tide. And the first life of Blade is lost. Adam goes down. I thought that it connects. Soul fire is over. There is the demonic cleanse on two binary boy this time. It does finish up. Stimmate's getting a lot of damage on him. Have a camera pushes them back. Cog pops in one, two, three heroes. Stun's in the middle of them. Blade jumps in, but Hurricane Fight comes out of the trade. Sun takes down Butt Health. Butt Health buys back. Fuels on to Pengo. Pengo's almost gonna die, but not quite. Weevil gets pushed back. The half a camera eventually dies. I feel like I'm doesn't quite connect, but help is still there. Gus pushes onto one of the heroes. There's a silence on two. Sun and Sun's in a little trouble. Sun is very in trouble. Doesn't have fuels for another three seconds, but the spirit side is filling it back up so much and pushing back with the fear. Sun is still alive. Start on two. Stimmate, why are they going on to Binary Boy? Binary Boy takes out Sun because they got woken up with the Sleeping Dart, but I'll take Sun's Stimmate. My keyboard seems to be locked up. I can't do anything at all. And someone else dies. Blank dies. My keyboard has died. I need to go find the cord. Hello, cord. Where are you? Excuse me. 
Dyer's top tower is under attack. Good fight for it for, for them. They took out one, two cores, and a support. And I'm gonna find my keep my my cord for my keyboard. Dyer's top tower is under attack. I'll take that. No buybacks on three heroes, but everyone has retreated. They're defending. Aegis is down. Did they use Refresher Shard? They did use Refresher Shard. That's all gone. So now everything that they had is now over. Still two more shards are available. Hoa got Scepter on the Jakiro. Now we got huge, big, bad macro pyre. Goes through BKB. Pure damage. Super long. Duration and distance. So good. Adnan's got a gem coming out. Now they're going to be able to check out Blade again. Lots of items. Shakiro has the grow bow. And probably the talent. Oh, go away. Go, go away. Yes. Oh, they, they nerfed it? I thought it used to be plus 375 attack range. That's lame. That's lame. Illusion rune. Have a camera. So fun. Okay, it's got Mindbreaker for the Silence again. We're still any more level 4. Spell Prism on Omni. That's good. That's good. Working on Shard for the Degen Aura. I love it. 40% slow. That's really good. Much better than before. Oh, and Refresher. Refresher on Sun. That works too. Gem Wraith Pack AC. I thought I saw someone. Oh, okay. Blink goes down to butt health. Who had nullifier and decided not to use it. But Aeon Disc was on... On here. Question mark. What was question mark? It was a creep. Oh, things happening over here. Buyback from... From the Omni Knight nullifier onto Kiro. Kiro is still somehow alive. Going down and comes in. Blink, Ravage. Huge damage with BKB still there on butt health. That was perfectly fine. Buyback from Kiro this time. Keeping back in. Ron Thunder doing tremendous work, disrupting their saves. But you just kind of saved here, but nice turning around. Hits back on the blade. Blade's still working on things. Thank you, catch on it here. Looks like Drow's in trouble this time. Oh my goodness, trapped from the back lines and down goes Binary Boy. Does have buyback. They did force out two buybacks from both supports on the side of Hoa. So they do have to be a bit, bit more careful. Sun's Exo has gone off. Did use refresh already, that means he's kind of low on mana. He does have haste though. He does have haste. Not quite level 25, so not quite extra exo spirits. Stimmate working on presumably overwhelming blink. Got the recipe coming out. Wow. Just straight up buying it. Buy back from Drow. They're just gonna keep on working. They can seize from a distance. Seize from a distance. Look at that. Look how much damage from just those. Oh. It's like a fifth of the, of the rack's HP from just attacking twice. So rude. Dyer's top tower is under attack. But once again, CSM has top pushed in like they always do. They are so good at this. Lotus on Jakiro. Shiva's on DP. Raptor there, gem there, finally. Tedesso, BKB, Nullifier, Overwhelming Blink. Dyer's Crits on Binary Boy. We need attack. a shard on Binary Boy. I think that would be very helpful. Like, really helpful. Whatever. What do I know? Oh, they're catching out there. Rolling Thunder comes around. Catching out onto Hoa. And Bling. Lots of damage. Little Fire comes out. That means Hoa can't really get out of there. Hoa's going to go down eventually. We're going to Bling. Now Bling pops the A, but it does already end. 
he's in a lot of trouble now. Getting wrecked, but he gets out of there. He was there on the blade. Blade's gonna work on it, trying to find someone. Havoc can replace his back drow. Draw her can fight away. There's Flash Buckle. Drow's turning back on doing a lot of work, but there's the instant dash from the Freaky. They're still working on it. Sun is back up to full, but have a slayer for guardians overweight just a little bit further away. Gets silenced. Gets back to the ground. Clutch the hammer's out of there. Doing some good work. But there is the spirit cycle with the fear from the shard. Swashbuckle away. Can he actually get out of there? Urbo is still here. Urbo is going to try TP away, but Blade does. Oh, get the bash. Blade. Sleeping Dart. Hello. Sleeping Dart would have guaranteed it. He's, he's too good. He knows. He's like, I don't even know Sleeping Dart. I can just attack. I, I believe. This. I believe. Ravage Dying. They're going for Tier Force. They Radiance spent so much time working on those powers. Time to finish off the game. No buyback left on the side of CSM. No reason for them to stop. Both Drow and Dawnbreaker are still so far away. Still 70 seconds up. We do have Rolling Thunder and Roll Up. Shadow Demon's still here. They have one last chance to go for this. Not much of a chance. All they can do is try though. Ravage is up. Refresher pop by Sun and BKB. And XO. They're working on it. This should be it. Celebratory Ravage. Celebratory Ravage. Ravage! Woo! GG is called High Octane Apes Victory in Game Number One. Wow. What a comeback. Time to see what Dota Plus shows me on these stat things. Stats. Okay, how do I leave this chat? I want to make sure I leave. Leave. There. Now I can't see it. Oh, wait. Yeah. Leave it. So, breakdowns. Ooh. I've never seen this before. So much healing. You win. So much damage. Oh, wait. Oh, it's just like by a person. So, you healed yourself the mu that much? Um. You did things. You killed other people. Um, other things. You did things. This is much less helpful than I thought. I don't understand. Well, this is apparently stuff. So that that's that's what happened. Well, okay. Let me just update the score. And then we can continue on with our lives. Cool. Well, we'll take a short break before we start the next one. And I'm going to not say anything. They're already in the lobby, so it's going to be a very, very short break.
entire team ban. Oh, apparently we're starting. Everyone get excited. Team ban. Woo! Team ban. Wait for it. Welcome everyone. We are back here at the Amateur Dota 2 League, Season 36, Warrior Division. This is the second game of the two-game series between Watched Up CSM and the High Octane Apes. As you can see, because they were all very, very good people, they decided to update the tick mark. So you can see that HOA won their first game. It was quite the comeback. They were definitely not doing so hot for a while. But that GA started doing working wonders. Sun was surviving just long enough. Blade finally came online. And now I know that this person is Riley Ann. I knew Riley Ann. Like, like last, last week, Riley Ann's name was Riley Ann in here. But apparently between last week and this week, now Riley Ann's name is, is Kanji characters. So this is Riley Ann, who we all know and love. And Blink is Blink. AKA Blink is Lottie. We can now call Blink Lottie. Because I didn't know that was her name. So, yeah. That that's the news since since like five minutes ago when the last game ended, and I asked Sun who it was. Okay. Right. So, watch up CSM bans out Omni. That was Blink's hero, and that is really that's literally the reason why they won this game. That Omni Knight pick, that GA was so good. That they were winning mid game so well because I think they were able to control Blink. Or they were able to time the fights such that GA wasn't up at the right times. And so Binary Boy and Butt Health were able to absolutely destroy High Teenage with just physical damage. So much physical damage. So good choice banning there. They ban Stinmate's favorite hero again, Night Soccer. HOA bans out the Quap and the Coddle once again. I'm guessing they're two of Butt Health's favorite heroes. CSM grab Snapfire. I love Snapfire. Paired up with the Sand King, hopefully, in that offlane. Amazing duo. Great combinations. Remaining. Double AOB stuns. Good combinations with the setups for the kisses in the epicenter. I, I love this. This is going to be amazing. And Snapfire immediately picked to counter Undying uh, Tombstone. Done. Kind of a direct move, but that's kind of what you get for picking Undying first. Snapfire does counter that with a little Shredder. So good, good choice there. HOA is not taking any changes here, though. They did pick Undying. Very strong support. Likely for Blank. Though it could be for Riley Ann. I don't know. But we get to see an AM. I'm excited. They're doing it. They're doing it for me. So this, this they promised. They promised. Last week, Sun promised if they picked AM that Harb would put on the persona just, just for me. So this is your time, Harb. This is your time. We're going to see the persona AM. The girl I am, because she is awesome. She's my favorite persona of all the personas. I mean, how can you really compare? Because the other personas are lame. The the toy pudge is, is kind of silly. And the the baby invoker is just really, really disturbing to me. Are there other personas? I know there's some personas coming up. Those are the three I'm aware of. The AM one is the best one, in my opinion, by far. Yeah. They ban out Tusk again and Tiny. Those two really, really Radiant annoying support team. functional heroes. Take away the DP. We all saw what HOA did last game with the DP. They already picked AM though for their second pick. So they're... Like last time they picked up DP as their second... Wait, was it their second pick or their third pick? I am drawing a blank. I think it was their third pick. Never mind. I don't know anything. Who played what? Yeah, Omni Knight was picked remaining. first. The Kira was picked last. Um, Tide was picked second to last. Um, Riki, Riki was second. So they picked Kira second twice. Okay, whatever. HOA bans that Axe. I hope that means we're going to see a Dazzle. I really, really hope it means we're going to see a Dazzle. Undying would be fantastic, though, in a safe lane with AM up against Sand King Snapfire, but... Undying these days seems to be in the offlane. Both of these heroes are strength heroes, though. Undying does really well up against them. With his decay, with his really, really annoyingness, I think that would be great. But who knows? They're paying an axe. 
seems to indicate they might be going for Dazzle. He's the immediate counter and acts isn't like intrinsically a good hero these days. And he's not like the best counter to AM or, or whatever. And not good up against Undying for sure. I would say watch up CSM should pick up like an Underlord or a or a Timmersot or or a Tyan. Or an Underlord. Those are really good up against AM. Void and Terrorblade are also banned. I suppose Terrorblade's annoying. Void is also annoying. Chronosphere is just pain. And he's so evasive. CSM picks up Shadow Demon again. They seem to be very comfortable with the Shadow Demon. I could really tell they did really, really good with Shadow Demon. Urbo had some amazing saves. I wasn't all that convinced. The, the Shard didn't seem very useful against that particular matchup. I could definitely see it being really, really good up against like a Venno or a Viper. Or a Quab or heroes with, heroes with a lot of dispels. Or sorry, a lot of debuffs. A lot of things you want to purge off because remaining. it gives you a continuous purge for a long period of time. Kind of like a reverse nullifier. Five seconds remaining. In this past game though, it did not seem very useful. In this one, let's see. AM doesn't have much of a debuff that would get purged because his slow from his, his passive when you have no mana Radiant is very minor. I guess purging off Fade Bolt would be kind of cool. Purging off Breathe Fire could be cool. And Undying, yeah, not really anything to purge off there. So not really much of a shard game. Let's go with that. Rubik, though, can steal some fun spells. Almost all of Snapfire's things are amazing, except for Little Shredder, when it comes to Rubik stealing it. Sand King stuff is very good to steal. Stealing Disruption would be humongous. I really hope we see some Reflected stuff from AM. Reflecting Burrow Strike, I've seen Harv do it before. It was amazing. Reflecting Disruption is very fun and hilarious. I wonder if you, if AM reflects Shadow Demon's Disruption and then Rubik casts like this Ten spell steal on remaining. Shadow Demon after Shadow Demon comes out, did it count as Shadow Demon casting it? Because Five I know it did like remaining. AM counter spelled it. So it's like AM cast it on Shadow Demon. But as far as the Rubik spell stealing goes, does it think that Shadow Demon's last spell cast was Radiant team was disruption back. or is it whatever he cast before that because technically he tried to cast it but am casted it though the cooldown went off went off of cooldown on shadow demon so it'd be a nice way to get double disruptions because the counter spell disruption and right when he comes out rubik just instantly steals it it's like a guaranteed steal and then disrupt him again Ten seconds and then if you get two charges of disruption then disrupt him again because yeah that's Five cool seconds remaining HOA gets Dragon Knight. So boring if that's a mid Dragon Knight. Oh my god, yawn. CSM gets Dawnbreaker. But health was very strong on Dawnbreaker. Got a solo kill on Sun at mid. Some good Solar Guardian plays really carry them through the mid game. Did fall off even with some amazing items and fantastic farm. But if they, if they work similarly to, similarly to last game, it's very important to have that as your pause too. Someone who can carry you through that part of the game. Looks like we still have the hard carry left from CSM. And HOA is looking for their offlaner or mid hero. CSM bans that Storm once again. Storm is pretty annoying. And they ban out Razor because Razor versus Dawnbreaker at mid would also Ten be crazy annoying. Dragon Knight could be just Five as happy in the offlane as in the... Mid lane. I am confused why CSM has last picks again. I guess HOA, they picked first pick one of the times because they really wanted the Undying or the Omni Knight. I don't know. Yeah, I really don't know. Apparently, they prefer first pick. I always like second pick. Playing around the last pick. I like that. PA and Jug get banned out. What could be good? Ursa could be fantastic. In my opinion. Lifestealer, not so much. Hmm. Troll. Hmm. Drow. I don't know. Troll could be okay. Drow, I'm not really sure. 
CK, definitely not. Lena. Lena, woo! HOA gets Lena. Mid Lena on Sun. We're gonna see a scepter, right? We better see a scepter. I really wanna see the scepter in action. Choose your hero. Ooh, good pickup. They pick up Slark. He's gonna do so well. Yes! Woo! We got the Persona AM. Thank you, Harv. You're my hero. You you did it. Isn't she so cool? She's so cool. I love her outfit and her hair and everything. I would cosplay as that that's my new cosplay thing. Okay, I, I was gonna cosplay as TA. But now I want to cosplay as as Persona AM. She's very distinctive. And I could totally do it. I have to make these things. And it's probably really hard because I don't I've only cosplayed like once before. It has been decided though. I want to do it. This is a cool Dragonite. I like Ten it. Ten seconds remaining. Slark. Binary boy. Five they want you to pick it. Remaining. You look like Clash of the Titans, Dubu. I'm pretty sure I've said those words before. Pretty sure I've said it. Because as I say it, as it comes out of my mouth, I recognize it. You're a very dark Dragonite. Woo! Okay. Oh, go away, chat. That's the lineup. My pick this time will be... HOA! I want to see some crazy AM shenanigans. I want to see some flying Lina's and some flying Dragonites. They both need scepters. Ruby's gonna steal something fun. Dawnbreaker stuff would be very fun. Blank's gonna be crazy annoying. Blank is gonna be crazy annoying. Binary Boy gonna have a tough time I think early on. Up against Stimmate. They do have some good purges. They have good saves with Urbo once again. But I am afraid for Sark in the mid game. Maybe if he gets farmed enough, he should be okay. Lots of good stuff to purge, though. Lots of good stuns to dark pack off. Hmm. Okay. Well, here we go. Welcome, welcome, everyone. Two. Game number two of this best of two between Washed Up CSM and High Octane Apes. We've got ourselves a game. I already said game two. What am I even trying to say? We've got a Persona AM up here. We are so excited. Look at this. Oh, yes. Look how cool her outfit is. I love it. Ah! Look, she's so cool. And her hair is so cool. Oh, I just love it. Ah! Oh, level 29 AM. Harv just loves this hero so much. So much. We're going to have a sun at mid on the Lina. But health once again is here on the Dawnbreaker. We saw him do so well last game, even up against the DP. This is going to be another tough lineup. Lina has longer attack range. Just as much spam, if not more, from the DP. Not as sustainable, but that spam is pretty significant. Binary Boy is going to have to be a little bit careful at the bottom. Up against an Undying and a DK. That's not a very fun lineup for sure. But at top, Blade might have to get a level of early level of Blink to survive. Up against a Snapfire and an SK. It's a pretty crazy scary lineup. Urbo's here once again on the Shadow Demon, so they're going to have some good number of saves. Disruption for Binary Boy. With Dark Pack to fall, that's plenty of save for the Sark. Rampage. And so it begins. Whoa! Whoa! Already dewarding. Blink took a chance and... Oh no! Blink! Blink, you're so silly. You're so silly. That's that, that's hilarious. That's hilarious. He dewarded it and then he put his ops ward right next to the sentry ward. That makes me raffle really, really hard. So, over here at top, we have Blade. Wait, is he here again? Was he here last time? Or was it Drow last time? Yeah. Blade once again on top. 
on the AM. The female Persona AM, I love it. Supported by Blink. He's already got double decay stacks, being super annoying. Huge stacks, 16 now. Oh, unless I'm dying up against. Poor Adnan on the snap fire with only 200 HP. Be really careful, Adnan. Be really careful. Be really careful. First blood drawn from Blink. You just picked up level two from that. Drops the tombstone. Working on Dubu. Dubu doesn't have any stuff. Blink is Blink is going. Blink, don't do it. Okay. Whew. That was scary. The key stack's about to wear off there. Oh. Solo kill. 1v2. Blink on the two of them. That's not fun. Blasted Dubu here on the Sand King. This lane is rough. I'm glad they put Undying up here. Very, very good matchup. Undying versus two strength short range heroes. Adnan does get the quick kill onto the tombstone. Definitely good. Kind of a point of snapfire. Level one, little shredder. Does explain why she kind of had to let... Let Blink get all up in their face. Over at mid, we've got Torrentingus Tokingus, aka Sun, on the fiery haired Arcanalina. Oh no, up against Butt Health on the Stonebreaker. Celestial Hammer doesn't quite connect with Sun. Sun is dishing out damage from very far away. Has the spam, has the fiery souls. It's pretty cool. Wait, so the, the thing, the thing. Yeah. But Health is doing way better last hit wise up against Sun. I know I know But Health was a little bit ahead last time. Now he's even way farther ahead. Starbreaker doesn't connect this time. Nice job, Sun backing off. But Health though does have the bottle. Nice job with Last Shaggy. Does connect onto But Health. But Health does end up missing a last hit as a result. Looks like it's time time for Sun to make a comeback. And Sun is now drawn within three last hits of the poor unfortunate hero over there. The poor unfortunate butt health. Blank is kind of low. Lots of strength stacks. Decay stacks. Finally, over at bottom, we have Riley Ann. The one and only Riley Ann. Only if she's packing. On the Rubik. Looking forward to some fun stuff to steal there. The Arcana Rubik. Grand Magus. Grand Magus. Grand Magus. Supporting Stimmate. Oh god, over at top. Adnan goes down this time to Blade. Burrow Strike hits on a 1 2 Heroes. So many stacks. Wow. There was a cookie in the little shredder this time, trying to get away with the bro strike as well. But, oh, I missed the death summary. They're smiling so much, they're smiling so much at mid. Why do they keep laughing at each other? Stimmate on the Dragonite. The very, very dark Dragonite. With the soul ring already. He's pretty, he's pretty stable. His third skill gives him just so much armor and regen. Doesn't have to really do very much in lane. Just kind of chill, level up here, passive more if you need to. Is this dispellable? I need to check that. Dispellable? Yes, it is dispellable. They're up against Binary Boy on this Sark. I feel like once he gets sick, he's going to be perfectly fine. Dark Pack is going to save him from lots of trouble. Blank is kind of low. Blank. If you want to die to the creeps, that's okay. I'm okay with you dying to the creeps. That'd be kind of fun. Just don't let Adnan wreck your face. That would be kind of rude. Just a little bit. Finally, we have Urbo on Where's the courier? Shadow Demon. Has been slain. Adnan steals Blade's Carrier with full treads on it. That's pretty significant. Wow. Full treads all at once. Blade's having quite the game, apparently. Almost level 5. Oh, pounce forward. Wait, that wasn't a pounce. That was just telekinesis forward. That makes a lot more sense. They do have decent single targets done. The two of them together. Nice combos. Oh, I need to take some insulin. That's what I was trying to do before. Please excuse me. I hear a disruption just because they're like, no, no, you are not going to pull, but, but only this creep, only this creep. Cause, cause it's a big catapult and, and we, 
This catapult really, really wants to follow. It just, it really, really, really wants to follow. Don't ask me why. It just, it really does. Kind of silly. Binary boys level five. Blade. Got got the ring of health. You still last hit. You're okay. Blank has soul ring now. Two loves the tombstone. Adnan is having a lot of fun. Top six charges. Soul ring there as well. He's on sun, rotating bottom. I'm not sure they can do anything. They have way too much save, and they have pounce. Life Strike Ray doesn't quite connect. Work on Urbo, but it's a little bit... Oh, Laguna Blade gets started by Disruption. Tips to Urbo. Tips to Sun for missing. That's happened to me so many times. Not so many times, but... A Puck face-shifting Laguna Blade, or Disruption it, or all the little dodges of it, where it... It's the slight delay. I hate it. Why do they have that? Why? Oh god. Once again, I should- Oh, Black Striker perfectly timed from Sun this time. Cancels Butt Health Star because it was probably going to be a kill there. We do have Soul Ring now on Butt Health. He could have followed it up with the Solar Guardian if the Star Breaker did land. Over here, working on here. Disruption on two Rubik this time. Stimate is here. They're gonna be, oh, Telkis pushes back this time, but goes the wrong direction and Urbo gets the kill on two Rubik. Binary Boy with one stack on the permanent Agi Essence Shift. Yeah, that, that just happened. That just happened. So such a tight game. Death Summary. Oh, wow. Level 29 Rubik. Riley Ann. I had no idea. I had no idea. You scary. Level 6 on Sark now. It's a big deal. Blades level 6. Dubu's almost out of mana, but Dubu does have Tranquil Boots. We ping out the Sentry Ward because they know it's there. Adnan's there. Probably be a little bit careful. Tombstone is dropped from blank. I don't know why it was dropped there. Blade is here. Adnan's working on a little straighter there. Oh, baiting Adnan to come back. Adnan's probably going to go down. Mana Void's used. Adnan goes down. But does take out the Tombstone. Blink, that was so smart. Putting it farther back so that so that Adnan had to walk back in order to kill the tombstone. So I feel like she wouldn't have died. Or he, they, they wouldn't have died if they didn't turn around. Um starting the binary boy. Binary boy does have Shadow Dance though, so should be okay. Not level 6 on either one of these. Nice pull from Urbo. Disruption onto Rubik. Simmates here. Solar Guardian comes in to connect. And it does land. Hits on Rubik this time. Rubik is in trouble. Starbreaker used. Binary Boy gets the kill. Pounds does not connect on to Stimmate. Another first successful Solar Guardian for Butt Health. Two stacks now for Binary Boy. Over here looks like Dubu's having to leave the lane. A bit too scary. Blank is gonna pull, maybe. Nice work. What are you gonna get? What are you gonna get next? Level five. Save up the the point for a heal. Blink forward. Do a boom. Burrow strike. Oh no, mana voice used. Dubu was pausing there. Getting slow by the zombies is going to be too much. Slows from the mana thing. Cookie goes forward with the burrow strike. Whoa! Whoa! Little shredder, but decay finally from blank takes out Dubu. That was amazingly timed. The cookie to stun them both. For the soul ring with no HP left to burrow strike back. That was pretty cool. I'm quite impressed. A stutter step, I think that Dubu mistimed the mana just a little bit. Probably hoping to bait blanking a little bit and then go back with the stun, I guess. Ult popped by DK. Stimmate going for the... Oh, now it's over. They're just having fun. Binary Boy going for Shadowblade first. 
Okay. Pounce this time onto Rubik once again. Shout against Pop. But the stolen pounce leaps away. Oh! Looks like Binary Boy might be in trouble. Tucky's his back force already in with the huge heals. And Binary Boy is going to be perfectly fine. Dark Pact again. Special Hammer. Stolen on Glory Guardian. Heals coming out once again. And so many good steals from Riley and Stimmates. One hit away. There comes the Shadow Poison. It's going to be not quite enough. But there's the one more hit. Shadow Poison sack one more time. It's not quite enough. Stimmates survives. Pounce goes in once again. Leash onto the Blank. This time the Blank is so tanky with the Decay. Is it going to be enough? Just right from there. It does connect this time on the Sarkin. Binary Boy goes down. Oh, the stolen disruption, and then stuns here with the Urbo takes down Urbo. The huge dragon tail stuns but at exactly the right time, but off the still super fast Urbo does end up connecting. They do finally finish our blank, but we're gonna wait to the back and down goes Butt Health. Sun with a triple kill. Riley and MVP. MVP. Stolen pounds to get away. Stolen Solar Guardian to save and return. Stolen disruption to interrupt binary boys. And then Sun with the Life Strike Array. And the Dragon Tail from Stimmate was so perfectly timed over and over. And now, of course, he's gonna die because, you know, it's Stimmate. And that's what he does. He's just come flying out this time. Disruption on to Sun. Sun's gonna TP out. Is it gonna be quick enough? There's no pounce. And Sun gets out of there. You do lose most of the ult. But that just happened. Oh! Okay. That's that's cute. They ping the wards that are obviously here. Gonna get some money to Urbo. They did get the kisses out of that. Riley Ann is just doing so good on the steals. Kisses, kisses, the kiss steals is just so good. Look at the range on this. Wait. Look at the range on this. Look how far away it is. Hmm. I like it. Net worth wise, Blade is slightly ahead. Not what you want to see, but it's still fairly even. Less than 1k overall difference. The mids, but Hop is slightly winning again. Binary Boy, though, is 2k behind Blade. That is the really big one there. The off laners are about even. Binary Boy is still going for Shadow Blade. Hmm. Obviously, it's good for pickoffs. I'm expecting them to go for pickoffs. But it does make him obviously like a lot weaker. Look how much HP he lost. To just a fade bolt and a decay. A lot of work. Working on arcane boots. Yeah, a cult bracelet. Not sure why Ruby's gonna be be attacked, but whatever. Gives you stats. Battle Fury on Blade. Probably for a while. I just wasn't looking. Nice trusty shovel shovel south. Sun is hasted up. Working on mid tower. Nice job with the glyph. Thank you. Getting a few more hits from Sun onto the tower. As you save that creep from imminent destruction. Kisses are back up. Solar Guardian's back up, TPing to the top this time. Solar Guardian comes out onto Urbo. Nice pushback, Kisses come flying out this time. Blade's getting pushed a lot. Sun's in a lot of trouble. Got it. But does get out of there. Kisses are over. Pounce doesn't quite connect from Binary Boy on Sun. Light Striker disconnect, but the Dark Pack was a little bit fast enough. Still on Kisses coming out. Lots of damage. Epicenter there from Dubu. Doesn't quite do anything, but Gilgamesh takes out Dubu this time. Steve is taking a lot of damage. Binary Boy onto the two of them, but. Tails needs to lift it up, and down goes Butt House. Sun is still barely alive. Simming's barely alive. Blink Park from Bay. Look at my Binary Boy. Binary Boy's trying to get out of sight. Barely out of sight, but loses it to Mana. Almost had enough to... Did have enough to leap away, but Blade has one more hit. Double kill for Sun. Decay coming out. They're still working on Adnan. They want to get a full team wipe. Blink is super big. Amazing fight for HOA. Bit of an awkward initiation from CSM. Oh, the cute little spider stolen. Yeah, the awkward initiation here with the Solar Guardian. They almost were able to take out um, Sun, but the pounce from Binary Boy didn't quite latch. The Burrow Strike with the Epicenter only really hit on Simmate and it wasn't quite enough damage. 
Then Butthouse follow through, got interrupted by the telekinesis from Riley Ann. Little, little thing after little, little thing. Um, Butthouse looking on here. They're gonna be like, no, we wanted to give this arcane rune to our friend, Sun. Oh, so one star breaker this time. Oh my goodness! Disruption save, but is it gonna be enough? Everything's on cooldown. The Laguna Blade is trying to push her forward, but it's not quite enough, and she goes down. Poor Zone Breaker. Token needs a stolen Starbreaker. It's a pretty cool combination. Riley Ann, so good. So good. How do you decide when to pick Rubik? Like when the things you can steal are are, the, are like the right things to steal. I'm pretty sure I've never won a game as Rubik. Never ever. Radiance Middle Tower has been denied. Blades working on Manta. Over at mid, things are happening. Nice, huge epicenter. One, two, three, hero with a pro strike. Down goes Sun. Down goes Riley Ann. Binary Boys follows up, takes out Blink. Simic does blink away. Attack. Trying to get away. Should be fine. But huge kills there. Nice initiation. Nice pro strike epicenter. Finally, some good combos. HOA being oh, caught on a words, I guess. I don't know. Cookies, bro strikes. All the stuff. Oh, bring for him. Dragon Tail. It's on Dubu, but Dubu is perfectly fine. He's got bro strike if he needs to. Binary Boy. Got Shadow Blade. Stolen. Shadow Poison. That's boring. Binary Boy gets dusted up. Has Dark Pack is really one to do it. Tombstone gets dropped down. Little Shredder. They finish off the Tombstone. Nice Solar Guardian. And the Leash and Blank goes down. They pop the Oat Blades here. Counter Spells of Disruption. Woo! He did it. Blank Blade does TP out of there. Or Blink on out of there. He did it. He did Counter Spell the Disruption. A little bit of a weird engagement this time for HOA. Nobody really popped all their ults. Except for Dubu. Just the... That was just a, a real strike. Oh, there was like a Solar Guardian, wasn't there? Yeah, there was a Solar Guardian. Blink forward. Not much damage though. Instant shadow or whatever. Demonic Purge thingy. Working on there. Little Shred's doing a lot of work. So much damage on the Stimmate. Stimmate's taking a lot of damage because of the thing. But Adnan goes down to Laguna Blade. Sun got stunned a little bit. Still working on dishing out damage from back. Pops BKB this time. Blink forward Dragon Tail onto, sh onto the Shadow Demon. Is it going to be enough? But Stimmate gets taken out by Binary Boy. But how it gets the actual last hit. Sun's still trying to follow up on Butt Health, but Health does eventually go down. Binary Boy's here trying to get the pounce, but doesn't quite connect. Blade gets a killing spree onto Dubu, gets disrupted. Urbo, Blade blinks forward. Blade needs to be very careful because don't want to get wrecked by your things. Soul and Burrow Strike goes onto there, telekinesis back up, and Blade gets the finishing touch on Urbo, just barely. TPing out, TPing out. Binary Boy goes down over here to Sun. They were playing together. What in the world? Play like a ray. Dragon slaves. So much damage. Oh. It's a lot of damage. HOA with another really good fight. Somehow all managing to stay alive. Somehow. Slark working on S and Y now. It's gonna take a while. Should have Manta finished up. Blank gives up his life. So we can put up a word or de-war something. Always worth it. First set of charges on the Desso for butt health. Lame. Counter spell. Um Fox Manto. But Pokey. Burrow strike. Sword Guardian, but blink out of there just in time. Stimmate gets in because it's come flying in. And down goes both Stimmate and Riley Ann. To the kisses to everything. Epicenter wasn't used, but nice job. Working on Sun, Sun. Kogi does come out. Sun does have BKB, but the Burrow Strike Epicenter gets channeled up and Sun goes down to huge one, two, four kills. Tips to Adnan, tips to Binary Boy. That shard from the Snapfire. So good. It seemed very unnecessary. Because didn't. 
Blink just died over here. See, just, they just lost four kills. Must just cause. To the top I guess they're feeling comfortable because Blade is still there and and Harv is super farmed, so it's feeling good. Radiance top tower is under attack. Oh, he's leaving. Bye. Almost three k. It's not cheap getting the gear I need. Blank work on a holy locket. Holy locket, as you'd expect. Riley Ann looking for something to steal. But no one showing their faces. That makes sense. Stimmate has the blink. Working on shard next. Obviously going to need BKB. He is still dying to just epicenter stuff. But he is their main source of initiation. Sun has BKB and crit. Hopefully going to go for... Silver Edge will be kind of cool. Binary boys pops the shadow blade. Haste. Has the Sanj already. Shard, so now we got magic community there. Dubu shard will give the pulse. Oh, stolen. Shadow poison. So boring. Blink, Aether Lens, Manta, BKB. Almost Aether Lens on Shadow Demon. Poor staff on Snapfire. Okay. Four Hero Smoke versus three Hero Smoke. More Smokes for them. Oh God, oh God, oh God, Blink Bro Strike. Oh God, Special Hammer, BKB is by Sun. Sun's getting out of there, it's gonna be quick enough. Flash Trigger just connect. Pounce gets blocked out by there, Kisses come flying out. Laguna Blade takes down Ubrow. Down goes Sun this time. Sun takes them both out though just in time. Little Shredder trying to finish off the tombstone, but it's locked by enough. They take down Adnan. They take down Dubu though. Dubu goes down. One last hero. Binary Boys here, but gets some of the Dragon Tail off a full team wipe for the side of HOA. This huge tombstone on the high ground. And Sun somehow absorbing so much of their damage. They just dumped everything onto him, but he had the BKB at just the right time. And a leap in from, from Stimmate blocking the pounce. But Sark was kind of not in the right spot. Couldn't actually get the couple last hits onto Sun. Light Strike array, everything chained up so well. My goodness. And Stolen Kisses once again. Lay is going for Scotty, it's so boring. Where's your where's your basher? Sun's got groups of travel. Can it get Okay, so Tanic next. Sure. Stimmate, your shard is available. If you want to get it. Binary boy's looking for a target. He sees the sun's not alone. It's a bait, it's a bait. They're all here though. They're all here. They put up some nice wards. Do they know? They have to know. They don't have D wards though. Appears. Well, they have this D ward. Nice shard there. That's good. Now, Rubik has a save. Binary boy. Invis room. Okay, it's got Scotty now. What is Butt Health going for? I don't know. Has only got two kills with Deso. Yeah, Snapfire Hooky. So much damage. I love it. Things happening, maybe. The Battle of the Tower of the Wards. Pops the Manta and suddenly gets leashed up. Sword Guardian's there. Blade's trying to get out. Blade does blink out just in time. Binary Boy pops out it's already. Sword Guardian gets stolen and taken back. Comes in. Jumps on top of there. Lots of good heals, but Epson is getting pulled out there. Somehow heals like up. Kids come in and take down. Rubik Uba dies, but health dies. Sun working on. Snapfire eventually goes down to Blade this time. 
Sime takes on Dubu. Binary Boy is just trying to run away, but it's four for one so far. Blade walks by Binary Boy. Binary Boys wants to go back in. Binary Boy is feeling very, very aggressive. I don't know why. Okay. I'm not definitely not feeling the Sanjan Yasa build. I get the status resistance. I don't see how it's really going to help. I guess having a mansion wouldn't really do anything for you because once you're stunned, you're stunned. You could try to dodge something, but it's not really very dodgeable. Binary boy. Can you take down Sun? Probably not with DD. I would recommend Binary Boy getting Shard. That'll help him, it'll help his team. Roche time. Blades got Scotty, Blades working on. Oh, okay. Sure. Go for Bloodborne. Instead of immortality. Basher. Because, yeah. Grand the Dust. BKB's popped over here. I made the Rogue Sun's getting very, very low. Going forward, but gets healed up so much with the Holy Locket. Has DD this time. Dragon Tail on the Sark. Sark in a lot of trouble with the Sword Guardian coming out. Can they finish him off? They do with the Mana Void. Blade gets instant dodges it with the Manta, and Butt Health is going to go down just barely. They're still working on Disruption onto the Lina. Lina's here. There's the Demonic Purge on top of that. Electric Ray finishes off. Snapfire will oh, cancel the Snapfire's TP. So we're going to add in Stolen Cookie this time. And they get three heroes. And now we have the cool upgraded little Cookie. Right? Do it! Cookie! It's so cute! Or not. Cookie! Oh! What? I don't get it. Why don't you get the shard? He has shard. And Snapfire has shard. Which should give you the upgraded cookie. I don't understand. I don't understand. Blink away. Binary Boy is trying to catch on his teammate. Stimmate is getting leashed up. Blink is still here. They pop the dust. Stimmate is so tanky. So tanky. But Hell takes out Blink real quick on the backside. They pop the stones again. Blade blinks away. Rubik's only getting caught up. Looks like HOA is probably going to have a save your friend syndrome. Stimmate looking for someone to stun. Binary Boys gets Shadow out of there. This time Blade loses first life. Is Blade going to be okay? You do a brush like everything up, but they're going to first shoot to the backside. Sun is very, very low. Has BKB, gets Cookie the other direction, gets leashed up, but doesn't quite die. And eventually, Dubu does take out... Dubu takes out three heroes. Takes out Rubik, Stimmate, and Sun. Play gets out of there. But huge fight, huge kills. Play wants to come back in, has Orchid. Play wants to kill someone. Oh god, oh god, Blade, oh god. Helps Orchid on two. Onto butt health, is it going to be enough? I don't think so. Gets out of there. Admin's here. Doo boo! Woo! Doo boo! Doo boo! Epicenter! Look at that damage. Look at that damage. This seems to happen to HOA a lot. They're in a really good spot, they're doing really good, and then, and then they, then they, like, throw it all away for some reason. I don't, I don't know. They stay a little bit too long. Unnecessarily. Stimmate did not get shard, went straight for BKB. Okay. What next? Working on Glimmer Cape there. Blade's still very, very far ahead. SNY finished up on Slark. Slark going for Silver Edge next. Definitely good against Dragonite. Gotta turn off that Dragon's Blood. Shadow Demon's also going for Glimmer Cape. So they're gonna have double Glimmer Cape. That's very good. Bash run, but health. I like that. Almost a guaranteed bash with the full with the three star baker hits. Undying's got the holy locket. Shard is there. They're gonna swap the trade tier twos. Well, Top tier two goes down. 
TP's the bottom. We put up a nice ward. We ping outside in the back. I'm dying here on the side. He saw the ceremonial thing, so he knew someone was there. He knew. He knew. Blade's coming in from the side. Blade blinks in. Orchid onto the Shadow Demon, but they do have vision. They do have vision. Gets mana voided in mid air. The cookie somehow does damage. Oh god, they take out a Simic. Simic trouble. Simic pops BKB and runs out of there. Free fires there. Stole one Starbreaker this time. Blink for Simic. Simic, are you sure you want to? Are you sure you want to? Dragon Tail gets dodged out with a Shadow Dance. Good timing by Binary Boy. Looks like people are okay. Everyone's okay. Blade it's, takes out Adnan because I wasn't looking at the right spot. My keyboard has stopped working once again. I don't know why. My arrow keys don't work. I broke something. It's okay. I will use just the mouse because who needs the keyboard? Binary Boy. Oh, they come in. I gave a big pop just in that. Sun, no lucky bashes. Dragon Tail onto Binary Boy. Bye, background snap. All right, this time a little bit onto But how the But going to drop. Oh no, But how this down. Epicenter was Epicenter used. Epicenter was used. And BK, when Epicenter was not used. BKB was used though. And Burrow Strike. This is come flying out. Trying to drive him off a bit. They are at full health once again. Stimmates are the only person who's a little bit low, and it's just Stimmates. It's not really much. Dice Striker connects. Blade is just like over here. Blade goes down to Adnan. 10 times streak ended. Well done. Binary Boy is on the hot pursuit. HOA is probably going to die again because this is how it really works. Oh, but a huge Dice Striker connects. Disruption for the huge save. Well done. Shout out to the level, but eventually goes down to Stimmate with a perfectly timed brief fire. Dice Striker doesn't quite get out of Dubu, but Dubu does get taken down, but the Telkin is pulling him back. And somehow, oh, he had Chatterdance. I thought Radiance it was going to be enough. I thought it would be enough. Oh, none of my keys are working. Oh, everything's broken. Every something's stuck. Something's stuck. Yep, my keyboard screwed up. It's okay. We're still doing this. Um, BKB's pop once again. Let's check. Great disruption from the nice save. Huge saves once again from the disruptor. From the... Shadow Demon! Dubu takes out by is taken out by Sun. Butthole takes out Blake this time. Keep blink <laughs> tips to Dubu. Sun takes that out in as well. Double kill. This seems to be GG. We finally got the shard now on the Dragon Knight, so we got the little fire on the ground. Binary boy shall punch here. Bash this time. Shardbug does connect with the Tellings to save with the BKB is popped by Sun. Heals coming out. Pops Satanic. Looking away comes out. There's a Shadow Dance. It finishes off on Binary Boys. He's got to keep going. He's got to be very careful. A huge Dragon Tail stun. It does stop from interrupting Sun's TP. Looks like Simit will sacrifice himself such that his team can survive. Oh, he TP's out. They don't have a way to stop it. And Dragon Knight gets out. Binary Boys in hot pursuit of Rubik, but doesn't quite get there. Oh, and my keyboard works again. I don't know what happened, but now it's here. Now it's now it's fine. I I don't know what happened. Now we're okay. Woo! See, now I can move things around without having to use my mouse. I love it. Bloodthorn finished on Blade. Blade is super super buff. Has the shard, which gives wow. The passive is pretty good. It's very good up against the up against the Sand King. Like really really good. Because the wait, it reduces enemy spell damage. Does it reduce it from where they're casting it from, or does it reduce it from where the damage actually affects? Like, like, because because the kisses come from very very far away, likely outside of this radius. But if the kisses land on top of blade, does it reduce that amount of magic damage? I don't I don't know. I don't know. Blade's doing so good. Sun! Sun! Where is your scepter? I wanted to see a flying Lena. Flying Lena. Link 4 Dragon Tail hits instantly onto here. Let's try to follow up. Disruption for the save once again. Solar Guardian is there. Comes back in. But eventually, Dubu will fall down. Do we have buyback? We do not have buyback on Dubu. Not for over five minutes. Wraith Pack is dropped. Link somehow got Wraith Pack out of all that. Blink 4, Direct Pack does get off of that. Cookie brings 4, Binary Boy. 
They're still working on the tower stuff. TB that from Summon. Can't set up, but instant bash. Huge three heroes. Starving comes out. There is the, the floor guardian coming out as well. The stolen one and down goes like everyone. Buyback from Shadow Demon. For Sentry, we're getting dropped. Stolen. Scatter Blast this time. Blade wants to just go all in. He drops a mantle just because. Okay, now you're just being a jerk. Now y'all you know, are being mean. Y'all are being mean. He's just come flying out. Uncalled for, bad manners. Burns, Don't drop items, please. Thank you. Which appears to be it. No GGs are called though. They want them to go all the way. And not don't don't drop all your items. Jerk! Sony mantles. Well, that's the same item. It's okay. Victory in game number number two. High octane apes. Congrats to them. Once again, a 2-0 sweep versus Wait, versus Wasted. Wait, Washed Up CSM. They now have four wins over the course of the first two weeks. High Octane Apes does, while CSM has two wins. They're now two and two. Congrats to them. Pretty cool series. We got to see Harb on his... One of his top three heroes. One of his absolute top three heroes. Let's see. See, Juggernaut, PL, and AM. Those are the three heroes. 27k net worth, 29, 29. These are two of their absolute favorites. Well done. <clears throat> I wanna see his damage. Oh, no, click. Okay, that's less dramatic than I thought. I don't, I don't like this thing anymore. Graphs. Very, very high. Still no scepter. Still very sad about that. <coughs> Congrats, though. Well done, both teams. That's all I've got for tonight. Thank you all for watching. Oh, I should probably try to make another summary clip video again like I did last time. That's so much work, though. Okay, whatever. Thanks, everyone. Good night. Enjoy, Enjoy the weekend. <laughs>